Wait, wait, say, say it one more time. You had sex? I had sex. Incognito time. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who is listening right now, this is your boy, Michael Blauslein. I have the biggest freaking news of my freaking career. Okay? Hey! Who is recording the first comedy special? Not me. Already did it. You You're did doing it. it. I was there. You're it doing was so it. so good. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Guys, listen to me. Listen. Denver, Colorado, September 30th. Two shows. I'm only recording two shows. Go get tickets. They're literally almost sold out, so go get tickets right now. I am so goddamn excited. So go get tickets September 30th, Denver, Denver, Denver. Um, all my other tour dates are on the website, but that's the one I'm going to say today. Guys, go do it. It's going to be a wild, wild ride. I'm so excited. And when and that sells out, you should still go to the other shows because you'll see what's going to be recorded that Thursday and Friday night. Man, thank you. That's the preseason. Yes. Preseason shows. Right. So we're going full season. Boom, boom, boom. So go get tickets before you can, guys. I love you. And that is it. Blowcomedy.com. Blowcomedy.com. Diamonds aren't real. They're rocks. What are they? Cold? They're just rocks. Well, they're just rocks, carbon. but the, the whole the whole diamond industry is a whole fucking sham. Do you have a friend of the diamond industry? Really? Yeah. Really oh, dude. Diamond, thing. Dude, diamonds aren't rare. Let's start they on just, that. What's happening? Diamonds Go ahead. aren't rare. Oh, hold diamonds on. So aren't, diamonds aren't rare. They're not? They just, no. They just, like, Zales and all these places, or the beers, I think, they just fucking, they find them and they just house them. Oh. So then the supply, supply is and demand. super low. And what? then once the supply is super low... Then they have a lot of demand, so they can up the price. They're so not rare. Was, Diamonds are like Pokemon. And there was a there was a um, marketing campaign in I think the forties or fifties where some company made it like their whole thing was like if you want to get married, you have to get them yes. a diamond ring. Yes. And then the value went up. Like it was like cheaper than rubies or something at the time. Yeah. And then that campaign just like blew it out of the fucking water. And I think then all those other people started hoarding them, and now they're like the most expensive thing by far. Dude, I just realized the gold rush was the original crypto rush. <laughs> like when everybody went <laughs> yep. to California, uh -huh. those are the same people who jumped on like crypto and NFTs. Like yeah. imagine like, everybody's going to California for what? Gold. All right, fuck it. Where are you going? I'm going. So Can you imagine just getting on a Conestoga wagon? A what? A fucking wagon. Is that a yeah. dinosaur? A, 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 what a, kind a of wagon? wagon. A con, con, was it con, are we talking wagons? No, a covered wagon, right? Imagine getting, I think they're called kind of saga wagon. Doesn't matter. The covered one, right? A covered right. wagon. Covered wagon. A covered wagon. All right, yeah. yeah. For the layman's, for the guy who knows, <laughs> kind of saga wagons. But okay. with, getting on a wagon with fucking wood wheels. Crypto. And just be like, hiya, take me to LA. GPS, psych, don't have one. You Your point whole, at a map and you go... <laughs> Your whole a map. Your whole family's dead before you get there. Yeah. Well, that's all. Yeah, trip. you're losing at least. Yeah, your stock is up. You're yeah. losing. <laughs> <laughs> Every cares? time somebody dies, that's Dude. less people you have to cut out on the will. Isn't that insane? You you have you're a whole nother family by the time you get there. <laughs> Do you think you yeah, would have yeah. gone? Would you have gone to the Gold Rush? Let's say you were both in Minnesota, right? Or, oh, or, okay. Like, or, and you were back in Canada. Would you have traveled, knowing like yeah. back then? I would have went. Dude, I'm I, I, I would have to hear. Sunlight, man. Let's go. I don't know. Sure. I'm, I'm definitely testing some of the homies and asking for like. You know what I'm saying? Texting the homies. Smoke signals? Testing, testing, testing. testing, testing. Uh, send a pigeon, I'll send a, a pigeon. That's crazy. Or, There's or no internet. It's just word of mouth. Like, yo, yeah. everybody going to California. For how what? Do, yeah. how do the Colorado, birds, too. How do the birds know where to go? You the know, birds? we're like, oh, you give a thing. You know, on the, the Game of Thrones days, whatever the fuck, you give the thing a little, give a bird and you go, hey, go to the, the, Connecticut. Oh, how the, how do you know pigeon? that bird's not going to... Take it to the right person? Right. I have no idea. Every bird I, has its own destination. So like a pigeon can't go to like... Yeah, house. that's the deepest thing you've ever said in your life. <laughs> Every bird has its own destination. <laughs> Jack, can we get the AC in here? There is, this is as much AC as we can. Oh, we're sweating tonight. Yeah, what get, the fuck? Get sweaty, baby. Have you ever had sweat so much on your socks and then you like take them off sweaty and they get socks? stiff? Whoa, stiff socks. Whoa, I've had other things in my socks. <laughs> what? <Whoa>. Semen. <laughs> Ba -da -ba, play That's the intro. What the joke is. We don't have an intro. Dude, let me tell you well, something. I, I jerked off last night. You almost said today. Uh, did I jerk off today? No, I didn't. I jerked <laughs> I off last I night. Say you had a flight here <laughs> but today. But you know I what I used? Didn't. Which I haven't used, I don't think, ever. Tears. I used my own boxers that I was wearing. Wait, wait, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, wait. What? Like, wait, in it? So you, or you take no, them off you and then the you just wrap them as, as, as the, No, no, no. The so polyester so, pound down? So what I do... <laughs> that's funny as fuck. You, so what I did, I was like, I was fuck. It was after shows. I was tired of that. After like, shows? Yeah, what, what do you uh, It's like sweaty crazy. too. You got like swamp ass and everything. Think it's about that. Time. Yes, yeah, you're right. It was all fucking sweaty after shows and shit. So I took them down and I had them just around my ankle. What is jerked, happening? Jerked off, and then I didn't. I didn't usually Wait. have a sock or something handy. It didn't have anything, so I just took it off oh. the boxers and just used them to oh. clean. Then, but I've never Wait. used it before. And then I woke up. This is the and problem. And you put them on? No. 
I wish that was the ending. But you ever wake up and, and I just because I there's baby oil like <laughs> fucking just cum soaked boxes on the ground. Oh yeah, you would have died like, on what the am I, trail. What am I doing? You ever <laughs> have those moments you wake up? You go, what? What am I doing with my? That's I'm a full gnarly. grown man. So, so what I thought you meant was that you were using them were, as like the. Uh, I thought you're. I have like them silk, up. silk boxers on and like use it as oh, like the stroke you mechanism. You just cleaned up with the boxer. Yeah. I just cleaned up. Oh. I, I've never, I've never cleaned See, up. See, for the me, I, I jerk off laying down, and I jerk off just like into like my hand in this general region. The hand, bro. And just walk to the bathroom and clean yeah, up. Yeah, so, sometimes you gotta walk Hold. like like. You gotta, gotta walk. Up. Yeah, Dude, you're like, oh, you get on me you all the time. Are like, you guys all coming in your hands? Yeah. yeah. How do you think I have such good hair? Yeah. These are jokes. No, but during <laughs> sexual intercourse, on. they used to yell at me about this. Instead of like pulling out, I'd finish my hand because I don't want to make a mess on this nice lady. Yeah. You know, make a mess on the lady. But art, hold on. art <laughs> on the lady. Art on the lady. Art on but the lady. Why don't you want to jerk off in your hand? You think it's because wait, I, is it like is it cup? No, you're just like kind of all over the place. I'll, I'll like, yeah, do you ever, yeah. do you ever get like so tired? You're just like lying down after you nut and you're like, fuck. And then you just pass out. Yeah. Well, yeah, you pass yeah. out a little bit and then you wake up and it's like, oh, I've passed crusty. out. I've passed out many and I just fully soaked my own semen. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> Whatever. My old that's a, that's a rough to, wake up, too. My old roommate used to tell me he would fall asleep. He, I think he has, was it where you fall asleep? Yeah. Narcolepsy? Narcolepsy. I think yeah. he had that because he said he would wake, if he'd pass out jerking off and he'd wake up from the laptop overheating on his stomach. Oh, oh, my but God. then we'll wake up and then finish and then go back to sleep. What? Yeah, insane. Oh, okay, okay oh. so so he would jerk off with the laptop on his like yeah, like right here abdomen. But so I do that, so and everyone fast. everyone thinks it's weird that I do that because I, I I like a full screen. Thank you. HD. Thank I'm you. a phone guy. Experience. Okay, so you, I put the laptop on myself. Well, I put the like laptop. I put the laptop just next to me, just slightly askew to the left. I can do that. I can Wait, do that. so you're so you're, so you're not looking talking about at jerking penis. off. Like the the laptop here, you it's just, like you, just stare, you stare it down. And you just, Sometimes I'm ooh. just like I gotta see what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I get I get. Am I fully there? I close I close one eye and then I'm like, all right, for Does sure. Does it look it's bigger happening. that yeah. way? Yeah, for sure. Does it looks bigger that way? way? Bigger. I'm nice. going like full screen computers like up in this region, and then like, you know, I, if I it's kind of gross. If I haven't jerked off in a couple of days, man, I'm like. That shit could launch like over onto the keyboard. That's oh, the yeah. real gravy. Yeah, yeah just, that's, that's, that's why I started doing like the cup thing because I used to just like let it let it ride and I would be like, Wait, you used to put it in a oh. cup? No, 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 no. I was like cupping oh. it with my hand. I mean, dude, honestly, I feel like nutting in a cup would just be. Kind it's of actually chill. it's actually a phenomenal idea. Not in a cup. Not in a I, cup. I, I, cup nut. I think in college time, I nutted in a bag of Cheetos. There was a girl <laughs> that that paid Maybe me. Maybe cut that. <laughs> there was an, an ex of mine who paid me one time to, to nut in a Ziploc bag and mail it to her. That's the How hottest much? thing I've ever heard in my life. Did you overnight it, it or it in a t-shirt? Wait, 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 wait! You wrapped it in a t-shirt? Well, just I don't know. I didn't want you wrapped to wrapped it like it was my, illegal. Like search my bag and find just nut in a in a little. Dude, is it illegal to people to, use to get mail nut? No, it's not illegal. It just felt weird, so I just it I was like, oh, here's, here's her old shirt. I'm just gonna give her the shirt. Did you say she paid you or she wanted it? She wanted it really bad, and she paid me for it. She paid you for it? Does she still have it? Thirty bucks, but so you just paid? She just paid for shipping. No, she paid for the shipping too. Yeah, Favor yeah, shipping yeah. and thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah. How long is it for, like fertile for? Like, could she still use it? No, I don't think it was like I that. Think it's she, like, she, it was just some horny shit. She's wanted it. Here's That's the thing, dude. It, it lasts with. a long time. Really? Yeah, it lasts like I mean, not a long time. But I think like six, seven hours. Like outside of the penis, you can still get like you can still get. It's pregnant. like fruit from Trader Joe's. Really? I thought it dies like immediately. No, not immediately. The second it hits the air, it's just uh, like, <clears throat> I thought so too. I didn't think it was that many hours. Isn't it so dramatic that the second bees sting you, they're just dead? Yeah, it's lit. They pull, they sting you, and they're like goodbye. All you know right. how bad you have to hate somebody. Honey, dude, the fucking queen, dude. It's Is all it? for the queen. Yeah, really? It's because it's I think. I think simps? Hold on. They have yeah, some so weird. Just a bunch simp, of cucks. They have some weird sort of simp community where. Everybody just supports the queen, so there's they're kamikaze. Is that why these motherfuckers call the queen bee? Yeah, yeah. The queen bee. Yeah. The bee. Is the queen bee terrifying. bigger? Yes, queen bee got a rump, and I'm pretty sure that like if you somehow end up like <laughs> killing the queen bee on accident, then you get mobbed. Like you're like oh, the yeah. target. Oh of the yeah, whole they like follow plan. you. Is, is the bee any bigger? No, I think yeah, queen bee is bigger. So. Yeah, I, I think, think the is. queen bee is bigger. Here's a question: Are the queen is yeah? Damn. That's not that much bigger, I dude. They're I all sucking that... her feet. Whoa! Holy That's hot. Shit. Yeah, they all must know which one's her. I'd be annoyed. I mean, no, like she has a little like pink thing on the top of her head. That I'd be annoyed. Be. Leave That's me like a tiara on. Tiara, bro. Wow, but he's kind of. It is bigger. She's kind of bad. 
<laughs> I'm down to you. You flip bro with those tits. Hey, come on now. Come on now. You know her honey go crazy. Oh shit, Queen yeah, B. I fuck with honey. Well, she's getting crazy. We got you drinking a PBR yeah. and a Red Bull. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, trying yeah, to fuck yeah. Wild even shit about milk. You back in yeah. four locos over here, dog. No, but, so we, I've done Young Gravy, baby, no money. Uh, yes, that's us. Hi. Yeah, we haven't introduced you guys. But yeah, we just wanted. I'm Young Gravy. This is Baby No Money. That's it. And Baby Gravy Three coming out soon. He's done your your podcast once online during Zoom. Yeah, I did it three times. One, You've done it three times. Once yeah, with yeah. Lisa Ann. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Twice. And one time on the anniversary where we got drunk. Yep. Yes. And yeah, hammered. I don't another remember, time where we. I don't remember finishing little... that episode. I don't Fun fact. either. I, anyways, I, I uh, brought one beer in honor of that because then you guys were, you know. Dude, I, feel that. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate it. You yeah. asked me to be like, should I bring some drinks? And I'm a fucking loser. And I was like, I have to pack tonight. I wish I could get hammered. That was such a fun podcast. That was so fun. Hilarious. This one's going to be fun too. Yeah. That one was fun. Well, Lisa Ann one was fun too. Lisa Ann was great. Bro. What a. What? <laughs> I, I, I get things things turned around after that. Lisa yeah. and Young Gravy, but the funniest part was it was in a, a casino in Vegas where there's a clear like window, so people walking by are like the you know the older guys are like that's Young Gravy, and then even older guys are like that's Lisa Ann. <laughs> so it's a weird like people could watch you and yeah. the, and sound engineers were like they can hear you outside. No, yeah, I, I can't be talking about semen when there's twins walking by. It was this a we- feels illegal. Yeah, it was a weird like, zoo setup. I, I mean, they got to learn somehow. That's true. That's- God damn. Here's the thing, Trev. Whoa. Uh, yeah, dude, a little while ago, man, we decided to sell some merch. Sell it. And we had no freaking idea where to go, how to start, but we found Shopify. Shopify. And they, fr- yeah, that's oh, the sale. There it is. The sound of another, another sale, dude. It's another sale. We love it, dude. Shopify is the commerce platform revolutionizing millions, millions. of businesses worldwide. Dude, Miss what, worldwide. Boom, boom, boom. Whether you're a garage entrepreneur that's you, entrepreneur, or IPO ready. Shopify is the only tool you need to start, run, and grow your business without the struggle. No one wants to struggle. This is 2023. We need fast, efficient, and that's what Shopify does for us, it dude. It puts you in control of every sales channel, Whoa. whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's in-person POS system or offering organic olive oil. Which you could touch yourself with. I have. On Shopify's all in one e commerce platforms. And once you've reached your audience, Shopify has the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. That's good. That is good. You're browsing, I'm buying. Shopify powers 10% of all e commerce in the US, dude. Plus, Shopify's award winning help is there to support your success every step of the way. Uh, I we used them so many times when we were just not understanding how to do it. The best interface online for yep. any sales. I and we use it. Everybody uses it. They're such a great brand. It look all powered by Shopify, and we're gonna hook you guys up today. Sign up for a one dollar per month trial period at Shopify.com/slash socks. All All lowercase. That is Shopify.com/slash socks. Take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com/slash socks. Goddamn. So Do you saying. guys have a birds and the bees talk? Um, like sex, bees. I was homeschooled, so my mom like never. Oh really shit! I honestly, Whoa. sex I was ed like, at homeschool must th- go crazy. I not, I I don't I, know I when I learned. About I taught him. About him. He kind of taught me. About Wait, actually, no, no. But uh, teach me. I kind of. I guess I just learned about it. I remember all the boys in like grade eight and grade nine were like, "Dude, like you jerked off, right?" And I was like, "What's that?" I had that moment too. I seventh, had no idea. Grade. They were like talking about it, and I didn't know what was going on. I went home and I watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Jerk and he was in there. there. They show you. You jerk off the spike. It was the the, the woman. The <laughs> <laughs> Buffy. It, was, it was a woman. So wait, you were you were homeschooled or no? <laughs> it was, it was, oh, yeah, I, I was homeschooled, you were homeschooled until like grade you... eight or nine, and then I went to school, and then I was just like learned that. How was that transition? That's gonna from, be like, crazy. From just always only talking to your mom, and then into like just having like actual friends. I, before you start, can I just say that like, how many homeschooled people have you guys met? Four. Uh, Four. yeah, probably about five. And I, yeah. were they cool? No. Nah. Because this is the coolest homeschool person I've ever met, dude. It's yeah. very rare well, for them the to come out. people that went homeschool and then got a taste of like a little bit of high school. Yeah, if I, if I kept going through homeschool, guaranteed, like during the homeschooling thing, we would go to like homeschooling, like ceremonies and like little. Yeah, like, you like meet up like once a week with yeah. other homeschool, homeschool kids, right? Boys yeah. Well, it was like, this no, it wasn't culty. Boy Scouts. I was in Boy Scouts too, but. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, so you had a little bit of What's up Boy Scouts though? That's a little weird, yeah? No, no, it's only weird in America. <laughs> okay. In Canada, it's like way more spiritual. But I do think that there's something the opposite. Sometimes people are too sick, then they have to get homeschooled. Yeah, they're like too cool, and then the principal's like, oh, "You yeah, can't be right. doing whippets in home ec." Yeah, no, totally. But oh, yeah, that. So, reverse. so, so why did you? Why did you get not get out of homeschooling? But you know what I mean. Why? Why did you enter the workforce? The real. Um, workforce? I, I guess my mom was just like it was out of her 
pay grade. Of, Were you like, getting education. too smart? No, I was definitely getting oh. too dumb. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I went to high school and then I lost all of my knowledge because high school doesn't teach you anything. So, so how was that transition? His parents it, are cool too. It was interesting. It was um, my brother. I have an older brother and sister. And my brother was just like, don't speak to anyone for the first three weeks. Hmm? So I just like went to class, left. And high school? Yeah. Did Why your that? brother do the same thing? They probably thought you were a narc or some shit. Yeah, and my brother guaranteed was like the weirdest kid in high school. <laughs> like guaranteed. And everyone was like, oh, Ed this, Ed this. But like all the girls loved him because he was a weirdo. He's so uh, cool. So then I was like, shit, man, I got to be that. like him. I got to be like him. And uh, yeah, my brother's really dope. And if you guys are going to Copenhagen, you should definitely pull up on him and drink natural wine and look at boobies. Dude, that's all a man wants. Yeah, it's yeah. really all a man wants. Well, you keep saying natural wine. What's, what's, what is that? I keep people talk about that. It's like a orange like skin contact. Uh, they so make they leave a little bit of the skin on on the peel, and they don't add any nitrates, so it, like it doesn't last as long. Oh, it doesn't no hangover or something. Uh, it's less, and it also just gives you a better drunk. It's just like a. Nicer... I always see Drake drinking some giant orange cauldron looking ass drink. Have you seen that lately? No. Every interview he's drinking this giant. I don't know what that it's is. Probably his brand, isn't it? It's cool. Yeah, it's, it's got. Oh, like the recent up. one with the girl in the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah he, he, but he's doing that and that. And he was also doing it in the Sunday conversations like this, like cauldron. It's like this orange it's drink. Some shit he's getting paid for. Guaranteed. Something. It doesn't yeah. nice. It's yeah. probably yeah. It's probably just sparkling. Yeah. Apple Speaking side. of jerking off, I remember we had these two uh, Mormon kids that went to our school, and we learned in high school that they never jerked off, and like the whole class like halted. I can't believe they, I can't believe they, they released have. that information, dude. They were one of one of the guys uh, was a quarterback, and I was like, that's how he fucking throws so far. He got that seed built up. That's what I, you, you so think did, it is? Do you think if you build it you up, you can it, throw it, your, your testosterone just in there? Yeah, you, you like, ever done no fat? No, I can't. Oh. I do, SRG, I just, Semen Retention Gang. It definitely, I definitely, I've, I've done it for like months at a time. And, and months? Yeah, I've done months. I did it once actually for like you eight months. You get really horny, but you also, yeah, uh, it might have been placebo, but I got like, I felt like I was thinking clearer and a lot of these things. And I think you're, I think dude, you're just it's got, it's got to be bullshit, man. I don't know, man. Boys got a nut, man. Like, yeah. I think it's definitely a nut, but I don't know if, I feel like, Think about the caveman, man. They weren't nothing every day. They were nothing. They were probably nothing like a hundred times something. a day, dude. When the caveman found out about jerking off, these guys were fucking just like. Imagine the first stick figure with tits. He's like, wait a goddamn second. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. dude, the the moment, the moment that Ted told Adam that he could jerk off, it was a it was a night because they didn't because they didn't do anything, like they didn't have jobs. You know what I mean? Well, they had to hunt and gather. I, yeah. That's all a hoax. What do you mean? <laughs> hunt and gather. You know what's funny? How do they eat? Is they don't have no damn Whole Foods. You know what's funny is we think that the dudes went out and hunt and gathered. It wasn't like that. The it's, women will go out and hunt and gather. They're gathering and the men are hunting. I don't know if we were hunting. I think we I'm were telling hunting. you, what are you your sources? The men just probably jacking off. Can we we can't that, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt in the woods. They were hunting until talking. jacking off got invented. And that's what I, I mean. We don't know about after that, but so you, so how long have you gone? How long? I would say like. Maybe like I also like lived in like a commune with people in my room, and there was really nowhere to do it. Yeah, that'll do it. So it was like, I was, but I also wanted to. I was like on like the no fat Reddit thread. It's like a whole community of people that don't jerk off. <laughs> oh, these Super are probably alpha male, very chill men, very yeah. chill men. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably like Andrew um, Tate Tate type folks now, but at that time it was just people who were like self help, like oh you got to do it, like it's good for you. Yeah, uh, I don't know, probably like um, two months. I didn't jerk off. At one point, I just did. I it just was did disgusting when I when I finished. I just did three days, and I was like, "I'm gonna, I, no, I'm gonna I have like a lizard collection." Dude, in like it's, a week. It's, it's gross, bro. <laughs> what is this? Thank That's, you, buddy. Oh, what you is this? were, bro. Yeah, the it, prehistoric women were extraordinarily promiscuous. Basically, what this this article is saying is that uh, scroll down. Everyone more in, slower in these communities, like prehistoric communities, like there wasn't like. Families, so like everyone was taking care of all oh, the right kids. About this. So everyone was just fucking each other all the time. They Wait, were also what? fucking animals. <laughs> so no, no, no. I, I we're right about this. This is fire. Ready for this? What so, part about this is fire? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Not the last part he said. Not the last part. Or the first part. No, the first part's fire. It says probably engaged. I mean, the I'm first, sure that a lot of people over the history have done it. But. Because this is what happened. Because they, the women, let all dudes hit in the town. So the men didn't know if that was their kid or not. So then everyone what, essentially had the percentage that maybe were their kids. Mm. So then they wouldn't leave, and then they would the men would protect the kids and the women. 
Does that make sense? I feel like it's probably different in every culture, but yeah. This yeah, one? That feels like an Adderall. I want to be in this on one. That one. That Dude, also, like, they're probably not wearing much clothing all the time. Like, men get horny. So, like, drinking off must have just been, like, regular routine on, on site. Know, oh, yeah, and they have those, like, silk cloths, a little bit of, like, air blows on here. Guess what I'm doing now? <laughs> yeah, so down. wait, they would all just have sex with the same people, so, like, they didn't know whose kid was who? Correct. Yeah, but that's no fun. You don't know who your child is? No, I feel yeah, like but that's, but that's some, the, some but that's cultures. The point, but you, you raised, like, the community. It was, yeah, it was, yeah. Because, like, honestly, you probably had, like, that is crazy. Yeah, they say this is, they used to jerk <laughs> off to statues. I mean, shit, I kind of would. Bricked up figuratively and metaphorically <laughs> and physically and everything else. What's up with Part the head? They, the head is like a barnacles, man. They they used to make statues and then jerk off to the statues? Yeah. I mean. You gotta do something. Don't they have, have like real really women changed? walking around? And, yeah. Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, but this is essentially, I mean, yeah, this is essentially what we do. But that's yeah. just like, that's like Pornhub in prehistoric times. <laughs> You probably had that one dude who was a sculptor and he'd like, <laughs> he'd like trade him some furs for yeah. some fucking porn. Well, imagine you get robbed and you're like, yo, who took my teddy doll? Yeah, yeah. And you can't ask your mom or dad, like, have you seen um, a weird shaped statue roaming around here? That's crazy. Bro, just, just grunting because they don't know how to actually communicate with each other. <laughs> yeah, there must have been a weird <laughs> period of time where people were developing like the speech, Language, yeah. like physical in their throat or whatever where they could actually make sounds but they had to create words I wonder how fast like... the internet started then became porn like who's the first <laughs> guy to upload a tit onto the internet because the internet happened and they're like you can search the <clears throat> cure of this disease and somebody's like or <laughs> easily the, oh, the, was then the first how soon did internet go from the that? second well, the that internet, it was publicly accessible it's like anything Instagram opened they're like here's trees and then like two months go by and you're like you know, the internet was created for for scientists to, to communicate back and forth like experiments. So it right. must have been like, here's a beaker, and then the second thing that was sent was their wife's tits. Like it, it it would transition so fast. Wasn't the first computer ever made to like? I think it was to encode or not encode. It was to like. What's the opposite of encode? Like decode. De <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I <haven't laughs> seen it. Like decipher like German like messages or something. Yeah. Yeah, the first anybody ever freestyled oh, the what, what Morse code? That? It was in it was in one of the world wars, and they they created the computer to it like helped us win the war. Yes, the, the that Germans. was in a movie. It's I with the it Benedict Cumberbatch. What movie is yeah. that? Oh Imitation my god, uh, Imitation. Yeah, Imitation. It's a really Dude, good movie. Yeah, Benedict rocks. Cumberbatch is such a fire name. It's crazy. Great. Right. Essentially, yeah. Dick Cumberbatch. Have you ever heard about or heard of Engelbert Humperdinck? No, but I love it. He's a he's a singer uh, who was really popular in like the seventies. He's got great music. And I thought that that was his birth name, and he just rolled with it. But like his real name is something simple, and he just decided he was like, "Oh, if I put up this name, it'll make what him is more it popular." Again? Engelbert Humperdinck. Engelbert Humperdinck. You should look him up. Now he He's must be with the shits. He has great music. That's but not I was just like, I just thought it was pretty silly. His music kind of sounds, <laughs> kind of looks like you, dude. His music sounds kind of like the like the tra la 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 guy, you know? Oh, okay. It sounds kind of like that. Is he doing numbers? Oh, it has to be. 2.5 million hey, two months wow. ago too. Come on, oh now. he's old. Oh, is he still go. alive? Holy oh, shit! Look at them. This is two months ago. He yeah, yeah, yeah. Look up, look up, Quando, 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 by him. It's a f absolute banger. Look at that first result. I can't believe you know how to spell that, Gabe. Here we go. Give this shit a whirl. How many views are we talking? Oh, this is the Drake copy, the music video with Quavo. Yeah, they copied this from Drake. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> they copied this from Drake. No, opposite. Op never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, was like, that was a Soul Train. Soul Train copy. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. But very similar, so respect. Fast forward a little bit, just for copyright. I love music. Like Me a too. Bit. Every time I go to Vegas, I just want to put on some Sinatra one, no, and just one, no, walk one, down the street and no. throw Engelbert. money in water. <laughs> Humperdinck, dude, it's a sick name. I'm gonna look up. Can Could you look you, up what his, can you look up what his real name is? God damn. What's that sound? What is that? Bird dogs? That's a bird dog, dude. What if dogs could fly? That'd be a bird dog. But they're not flying birds. What are they? They're the most comfortable shorts you can literally own. I love them, dude. The, I, I can't even... Dude, I wore them to the gym. I wore them to play golf. I love them, okay? They stretch khaki shorts that are designed to fit slimmer through the thigh and leg, giving you a truly sculpted look, okay? Bird dog shorts do the exact same thing as Lululemon, but fit, uh, I don't know, way better, Do They fit way better than regular shorts that are all made of all stiff and restrictive cotton. Ow, ooh, ooh, burn, burn. Not bird dogs, okay? Bird dog uses anti-stink sweat wicking fabric that keeps you cool and dry all day long. As I said before, I played golf in them, dude. I felt- They're also great just to wear, too. Buddy. To wear around the house. Ask me if I wore underwear with them. You you raw dog and the bird dogs? Boo! You don't even need to wear underwear. Don't. Raw dog. Bird dog. I'm a dog. 
I'm dog too. Bird dogs. Cat. Pussy. <laughs> Go to birddogs.com backslash socks or enter promo code socks for a free Yeti style tumbler. They sent those us up. They're freaking awesome, dude. I had coffee in it this, this morning. Okay. Uh, that's birddogs.com backslash socks or promo code socks, socks for a free Yeti style tumbler. You won't want to take your bird dogs off. We promise you. God damn. You know what's so sad to me is like this this was such a hit back in the whenever, and now this is just like a like a Ford commercial. Does that what make mean? sense? So like like Gen Z's feeling towards like this type of music, like a like a banger back in the 70s, they they listen and they go, oh, that's a Ford commercial. Because all these commercials, they yeah. take like old bangers and they put them behind that. Like, Dude, you know what happens a lot is is people will hear some shit that's like some 50s shit. And then they'll start tagging me like, oh, this sounds like some young gravy shit. But I'm like, no, I actually took that from yeah, them. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. I'm like, I, that's what, mind blowing. Uh, what's the sample crazy. from? Yeah, yeah. You have a like, sample that every time I hear Maxine Nightingale. Yeah. I hear that and I go, what version is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very bizarre. So a, lot, a lot of times like I'll, I'll do just the whole normal original mm -hmm. beginning and, and whatnot. I used to listen to, I used to get so many good songs when I was younger that were oldies from Grand Theft Auto radio stations. Oh, yeah. My parents would be like, how do you know this song? I'd be like, GTA, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be whipping around. Oh, Fallout, my Fallout exes. games have great music too. It's you know, like I've real never, I've old never OGs. played GTA in my whole life. It's just great. I don't even. Numbing. I don't even understand. I'm gonna give is. the new one a spin when it drops because I've never really probably never played, played it. I've never played it either. Really? I feel like never. Have you played Red Dead? No. It's very fun. I, really I watched my brother-in-law play. That shit looks that game is so fun. Really cool. I mean, I was watching it today. Yeah, they're playing at my house. His house, big TV. It's pretty nice. So yeah, I have a big TV in my house. There you and go. He, and he's got a big pool that is, is wet. I saw it, dude. You can film music over there. It was yeah. so cool. Isn't it funny that TVs went from being eighty billion dollars and now you can get a seventy thousand inch TV seventy for fourteen for like fourteen dollars? Yeah. And like half a golden doodle. They Crazy. don't care anymore. Half a golden doodle. Why are dogs so expensive? I don't know. What's a really expensive one? English bulldog? Yeah, I mean it's like they're like like, it 10 like grand. G wagons. Really, ten thousand dollars. I, I, I almost I was thinking about buying a Bengal cat and it was like eighteen bags. You should get a like a Sphinx or something. Those are tight. I wanted to get like a really cool cat like that because they look like tigers. But then I like watched a video of what it they, they do be the noise. Attack the noise that it makes is ridiculous. It's like, but don't they attack people because they're not really domesticated? Not bang, not Bengal cats. Like the next level up of exoticness, I think they do like ocelots and shit. Sphinx and shit. That's what I'm thinking about the ocelots. But Russell like, Brand dude, I don't want to go to sleep with an ocelot walking around. Don't cats want to kill you anyways, by the way? Uh, I think so. Right? Well, I don't think they're very happy. That's what girls think, man. Yeah. I don't know. I love cats, man. We're I know, but gotta... I think if you die, isn't the thing if you die, your cat will eat you in like a day or something? And your, do your dog will, too. Your dog will, really? too. Your dog will? I don't think my you dog... Never, you ever seen Gerald's game, bro? My dog... Gigi be eating. <laughs> if your dog gets hungry... That's true. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think all animals at the end of the day are still animals that have those instincts in it. So if you they lick you 12 times, two days in a row, they're like, all right, fucking fair game now. Hibachi. Dude, dude sometimes I fake like I'm dead or I have like a problem in Lonely. the house just to see what my dog will do. <laughs> Gigi don't give a fuck. I like fake a seizure. I like fake like dead. A seizure? Yeah, just like give me, uh, and I like sit there. She don't give a shit. She'll come over, lick my face twice, and then go take a shit outside. She probably thinks she's jerking, off. Think she's jerking <laughs> off, dude. Dude, she has she has a hilarious life. Every single time there's sexual fornication going happening in the house, she knows exactly. She just goes right, right into her cage, just sits there until it's done. How and do she knows when it's done, and she comes out and sniffs the sheets for like twenty minutes. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I got bung. How do you guys feel about <laughs> having sex with a, with an animal in the room? I got no with problem with it. With an animal in the room. Oh, like, like looking like, at me? I got a problem. But like, in her like, cage, I don't care. No, yeah, yeah. But like like going to a girl's house and then they have like their cat or their dog like Get in the room the and it's like trying to cuddle and shit and I'm nope. like trying to have sex. Can't. How do you guys how do you guys feel? Where's your favorite place to fuck? Like not like a city. Like do you do you prefer like <laughs> fucking on like the couch, the bed, the pool? You know? Where what's your like pool? Pool's your place? a little bit weird, I feel. I feel like it's like the pool. Pool. Yeah, it's hot. Hot. I, I was never into shower sex until recently. Ooh, I had a decent what one. Happened? Just this girl just shower? was a pro. I don't know. She she loved it. She's aquatic. She was aquatic. Yeah, she was, I love yeah, it. Mermaid. Maritime sex. What's Mer good? Mermaid, dude. Uh, I I don't know. My favorite beds are cool, man. It's simple. Honestly, just, I'm I, a big bed guy. I'm just asking. I'm a, I'm a big. I'm a traditional <laughs> wow. bed guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but this guy's like I like to fuck on top of a pyramid. Like Randomly. just give me a fucking bed. Yeah, I, mean, I like to do like work in, in public, and there's enough room. It's cool. It's hilarious. Not, not in public. I mean, like in public behind. Right, right. You're like on a hike, or you're like yeah, you're yeah. A, like a bar, and there's like a like New York like all has family these bathrooms that are yeah. like bathrooms are the hottest things in the fucking which world. Which is like the universal stalls, not yeah. universal. What am I trying to say? It's just like a stall. There's no. It's individual stalls. It's yeah, not yeah. like a bathroom. It's just individual. Yeah, yeah. That's you just can, you can close it. Oh, when you can, dude. 
How happy when you gotta take a massive shit and you can go to a bathroom and you can close the whole door and it's like a floor to ceiling door? Oh, I've been taking my time. Oh my god. Yeah, like let me tell you, I take my pants off. <laughs> and then oh, coming yeah. on. That no, I take my pants off, put the <laughs> phone up, put Netflix on. I make it a whole that's like a spot. You know what's day. crazy is when people listen to their phone, like videos full volume in the bathroom. I'm yeah. like, well, yo, huh? Yeah. That's a crazy level it looks of confidence. Like on the bus or like in, on a plane. I'm yeah, I feel that. like on like bus. That's crazy energy. Trains. Well, anything so on a bus, annoying. there's no rules on a bus. I was I was also gonna say tour bus. Do you you like fucking on a tour bus? How does that work? It's fine because I like it because well, I had one. Well, you tour... had the bed in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you too. I, I had that. a bed. Um, I had one tour bus where <laughs> it was like the room was small enough, and there was enough like different like levels of like the walls and all the shit where I could like get into crazy. Do you positions. feel the driving at all? Yeah, yeah, and I kind of adds, helps. It like adds to it. Yeah, 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 really. But like I remember like there would be times where I was like. I could get into this position where my legs were like on the wall and I was what like the sort of like leverage. in the air and I was like fucking at a really cool angle and like Wait, you know, so you're like, like if this is the bed you're going like this or were you going like oh, it's really this. hard to describe dude I like have an arm on side I was it was basically like doggy style but my feet were in the air <laughs> what the fuck whoa like, like hold not on. in the air not in the air on the wall so I'm like, like, I'm, like pushing, I'm pushing off of a wall into doggy because oh no I understand because oh, I, see I somehow the, the surfaces you, but, were set up that but way. Well, you could leverage yourself, so essentially you're <laughs> levitating, and she's in doggy. I'm and then so you're... confused. I hold on. I'm because right, I know the, the I know the back of the bus. Hey, right? come this on now. Like, this was like three hey. toys ago. Yeah, hey, dude. Like was movie. it you? Straight movie, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but how did the dudes in the uh, the bunks? Did they ever get any in there? How does that work? <laughs> it's yeah, funny, bro. Like, I, imagine no. if you're if you're clapping it up middle bunk, and now the people ahead, are like above, above and below you, are like, man, fuck, hurry Can up. Can you fit two people? Dude, yeah, it's funny when they try to hook up. I don't there. think and it like, works that well. I um, I would be. I got two, two I underneath that sort of silly stories. My Please. one of my homies, uh, who's a new photographer of mine, not new, but oh man, he's a good dude. Not the newest one. No, nope, never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just want to no, no, it. I know. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, he um, his first time ever having bunk sex, he got his ass eaten. By this <laughs> I love this person. Dude, yeah. I was like, he's, he's like a, he's like my pupil. He's like a younger dude. Yeah. And like, he hasn't like left his hometown much. And I, he's a really good photographer. I brought him on the road and like started putting him on like the whole tour life. And like yeah. within the first week I introduced him to this, we went to a, a, a tea, like a really fancy tea garden thing together. And like these two waitresses were like, we just started kind of hitting on them during, the, during the day. We ended up having this wild night, and uh, yeah, she ate his ass Damn. in the bunk. So that, like, think about like so he went from chamomile to getting his yeah. ass eaten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's and, what's and, and up. I'm talking about so like, very uh, relaxing. <laughs> it's literally like a coffin, and, and he's like, I, I'm just trying to imagine what position he was in while he's getting his ass eaten. He, and he had he had to be literally laying on his stomach, and then yeah, she must yeah, have been on top. Th- yeah, he like, was. He couldn't get in doggy. Yeah, no. He was. What, I mean, was there people above him? No, no. Yeah, I think he was on top. He was on top. And 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 if if that's going down, people the homies understand they usually will leave the bunk alley. Um, bunk alley. But actually, that so same night is there, is there a curtain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was a curtain. Oh, it was okay. a curtain. It was a curtain. Okay. That, I leave it open. That same night, um, <laughs> he and that girl ended up in my room a little bit later because he had to like escape that area. So I'm not in my room, but <laughs> that's not it says. He went into my bathroom, and I was okay. with my girl in the main part of the room, and I could kind of hear them a little bit and like he was he had already mentioned me it's weird she like really wants to listen to music during sex man and then i just hear like skrillex come on no. like it was like some crazy like hardcore dubstep song yes oh my and just god both oh. of us just start laughing so hard and like just and just I, I went soft he went I, I assume he did and we're like man like why are you picking dubstep for your suck music you know that's crazy do you fuck with music on any of you guys? I don't like it that you, much. Had, do you, I, got, you guys don't... Okay, two questions. I'm so sorry. So you guys, I'm assuming, don't fuck to your own music, right? Not at no. once, just for the culture. Just... just to, <laughs> but it's like, it's like but it right like, when I started like making music, I was like, yo, hold on one second. What? Okay, what it's song like was funny, it? It's like funny, right? Yeah, it's, okay. it's like... Do you remember the song? Uh, it was... I think it was like my first song I ever, ever, ever made called Zebra Stripes. Yeah. It was bad. It was me g- <laughs> giggling over the microphone pretty much. So. I've had it come on. I've had my music come on like on shuffle and I had to go change it. That yeah. Was, it was uncomfortable. So that's my too, next question is, yeah, do you too wild. do you know rappers or musicians that generally fuck to their own music? Like they... Like I'm sure there like are a lot. Probably, you meet sure. some of these guys and their egos are like, yeah, this definitely... This dude. Drake probably does. I feel oh, like yeah. if you make R&B, you have to. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> but dude, I've been listening to Tory Lanez. I'm like, if I was Tory Lanez, I'd fuck to this. How about you and seven by seven by seven and minutes? Hell yeah. I can't fuck to music. I've said this a hundred times. I can't do it. I fall in love. I, 
That's a funny angle, though. I, I just wouldn't fall, fall in love. love. It's like Dog, some if I'm yeah. listening to soft stuff, I swear to God, it's happened to me twice, and I was like, I can't do this like anymore. Like I'm fucking to like a vo- like who's that? Uh, uh, you know, like Brian McKnight, and I'm like, why do I? I'm feeling have these need- feelings, and I like met this girl in a Qdoba like two hours ago. You need to <laughs> talk to Skrillex. That's no, what it is. <laughs> <You're> right, <laughs> zero, maybe that's why it does. There's no, no connection, dude. I've I've had moments where where like some soft shit came on, and I was like yeah. really, I was like, damn, this is like it. passionate. I'm like, right. yeah, this, yeah. you like look at in their eyes and stuff. When you get it, if it comes on naturally. I think that's cool, but it's crazy to be like about to fuck and then be like, hold <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alexa, play horny hours. <laughs> yeah. Like, if the girl has to see you put it on, then it's not smooth. But if it just kind of pops up, then, oh, gotta, what's that? I gotta play you guys this song real quick. So, I, uh, you get the, the horny playlist on set. Oh, I, 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 I had a tour where he showed me his room recently. There's fucking zebra shit everywhere. You get silk. <laughs> oh, my room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the so new place. It's very silky. Yeah. yeah. You're a big silk guy. I can't. Yeah. Big, yeah. It's pretty nice. Fr- okay. Have you, you guys have bamboo sheets? Bamboo Whoa, sheets, yeah. Bamboo sheets. What wrong. is that? Yeah, yeah. They're just better than silk. Damn. And I think they have like better like ox- you know, the oxygenation same for like too. Four so years. It helps you sleep better. They have oh, a little yeah, traction because the silk sheets are a problem because there's no traction. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they have. They everywhere. have traction. They have traction. Yeah. Sure. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. So it's okay. I can play the song for a sec. I'll, I'll just play like a, like a few moments. So I have a sex playlist on this tour where there was no soundproofing between me and the bunk alley. So I'd put a little speaker there and I'd play music. Oh, that's and I had a playlist of like, I don't know, 20 songs. Like I fucked like Young Thug or like G-Unit, that type of shit. Okay. You know, like Fucking a G-Unit is absolutely dude, is insane. insane. Dude, like yeah. Smile or like, dude, like 21 Quest, like, like kind of cute. Oh, 21 Quest is great. Kind of cute, but kind of like horny too. Anyways, I like, <laughs> I had like a playlist right next to the sex one that was sa- samples on my iTunes. And I okay. tried to put this into the samples playlist and put my sex one on accident. And then I never took it out. And oh, so dude, it come on randomly on that tour. This, this came crazy on frog. Like, like six or seven times while I was like fucking getting topped off, and and this is what the girls would hear. Like, wait, hold on. that's great. <laughs> yeah. I'll top you right now. That fit that flows. That feels like an ad that never has words. And this feels yeah. like I'm in an elevator at a very nice hotel. And I, I, I thought it was gonna be some like nut shit. No, no, no. It was, it was, that was it good. Was yeah, I thought it was going to make the Home vibe. Depot beat or some no, no, shit. No, no, no. That was a vibe. That, that is that, just, No, the Home Depot beat sounds Home Depot like we're getting done. They, they I had that in my tour it. playlist. It really goes hard. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I feel like if I was a shoddy and that came on, I'd be like, I'll show you some fucking two by fours and I'd go to town. <laughs> Topping yeah. off that wood. Dude, I love that. I love that. Yeah, I've never, I've never, I can't, any type of music, it just, it feels not honest. It feels like the moment you just subscribe, you go, hey, watch this, baby, and you play some shit. That's, it doesn't feel honest. It's funny if the ads come up, you know? Oh, okay. Want to get away? <laughs> Want to get away from the ads? I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't even have Spotify Premium, so. Really? No. That's crazy. Still you know, somebody yelled at me the other day, because I don't have I don't really YouTube like listen to music, to be honest. That's crazy. Really? Well, I, you know, I was going to say this earlier, when we were talking about, like, I don't know what we are talking about, but. I feel like as like rapper, or you were saying how the Gen Z doesn't really listen to the classics, like right, Angelbert yeah, yeah. Humperdinck. And <laughs> as dope. a rapper, like I realize you're the same way. I very rarely listen to rap. It feels it reminds me of work. Mm. I think about like like unless I'm yeah. like working out or like trying to get hyped for a show. I'm like usually listening to like bossa nova or like do you think if you listen to it it would like you might get like influenced too much by it you might try to rap like that because you can tell when other rappers have been listening too much of one person yeah it sounds like 100 yeah. 100 yeah. it's like, it's like, like comedy too yeah right? it's like that with yeah. anything whatever art you're in if you see too much of it you'll probably act like it yeah damn so what do you listen to npr you out here booking it up <laughs> you're like what like jazz and shit i like jazz i mean there's this guy i've been listening to herb and ellis He's just like nice. Oh, okay. I just, I just. Okay. He has like some hundred light. plays on SoundCloud, and he he shouldn't really be uploading his music to SoundCloud. He's just like old jazz player. Oh really? Uh, I listen to like, like I said, bossa nova, relaxing shit, like Frank Sinatra type music. Yeah, all that stuff. I listen to jazz piano. I wake up every morning. Sure. I go, hey Alexa, too. play jazz piano, and then I put on a little essential oils, and I start my fucking day. Yeah. And it's great. Nice, nice little relaxing start. Maybe do a little meditation, little yoga. Affirmations. Whoa. Affirmations. Yeah. You guys meditate? I do meditate quite often. Actually. You feel like a medit. Actually, both of you guys feel like. I used to meditate guys. all the time. I don't do it quite as much, but yeah, I I am a big fan. Why'd you get off? I highly recommend it. I don't know. I just uh, I guess I just a lot of times in a row I just couldn't really get into the zone. I'm gonna get back. My on brain's all over the place, and I try to like recenter it. I, I listen yeah. to the Calm app. Shot can get it, but. I'll be yeah. listening to that. Yeah. And that Tamara Levitch. Yeah. Tamara Levitch yeah. could get throated, bro. Yeah. Okay. Dog, the, t- her voice? I'm, yeah. That's crazy that you guys all know Tamara Levitch. Yeah. God damn. 
Factor. God damn it. I love this. <laughs> I literally eat it every single day. I hear, hear me out. I don't have time to eat. I was tired of eating oatmeal mixed with creatine and protein powder and people. Dude, I was making the, you guys know this. We hate like I hate taking it. time to eat. You literally, they send you these meals. You poke some holes in the top two minutes. And you never like, oh, it's perfect. Every single time, two minutes, you don't burn your mouth for seven minutes from some Trader Joe's shit that's very good, but takes too long. And I will say, this is not like some, uh, oh, this food's average. Buddy, they're like, they're, it's incredible food. Dude, it's I never frozen. It's incredible. Let me tell you something. Please today, do. Today I was starving. I was leaving my place. I was about to pull a blouse line and never freaking he's going to shake all the way to freaking to the studio. And you know what? I'm not making this up. I opened the door. You know what was there? A box of Factor. It Factor. saved my life. I had a smoothie and one of those things. Pokes some holes in two minutes. It first of all, it was like it was like a, it was like a bacon chicken cheese. Oh, it was I, I have the exact one in my fridge, bro. Dude, I know it. I know a company's good when I tell people I do ad reads IRL. <laughs> Me too. I'm at the bar. She's like, "Well, what's your health?" And I'm like, "Factor." It's got uh, keto to calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and protein plus. Dude, prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. Each meal has it's you know all for the ingredients. Yeah, you can you even feel do breakfast stuff all too. Day, you can do breakfast stuff. They got cold pressed juices. Uh, I do it every single week, and I don't have to cook, and I. Have way less dishes, and I don't leave the house hungry and pissed off at the world. God, it's so great. So, so head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off. That code again is socks50 at factormeals.com slash socks50 to get 50% off. God damn. All right, quick outfit change. We back. Yo, we back. We back. Guys, Dude. sorry it's so freaking hot and our AC's broken. It's yeah, okay. so what's going on? Y'all uh, on tour right now or not really? I just went to you guys' OC, OC I, show, lit, loved it, it very fun. fun. It Dude, my favorite thing is Chad Churdley's one, this massive gorilla, <laughs> hung out on stage the whole show, and then at the end, you toss him into the crowd, and then the whole audience crowd surfed this monkey to the back oh, of the Oh, that's really cool. Back yeah, row. Was, this is giant. This is like... like <clears throat> Bro, it was like six feet. Yeah, service area bigger than me for sure. It was a really but, big boy for sure. Like, no, like, it's like it's yeah. like when you go to the, the, like the comic like Donkey Kong in real life, but, but Chad comically won large it stuffed animals. And how 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 much did he have to spend to win? Like, dude, like six bucks. I played the ring toss game, oh. and then he did too. Like this thing was like massive. Like, holy dude, walking me this shit. You want bitches at the fair? Win one of these and walk around. Every guild from the world was like, "Ooh, what'd you do to win that one?" <laughs> the cop asked, and I said, "I sucked them off." And he went, "Ha ha, wait." <laughs> You said that? Yeah. To a cop? Yeah, yeah. That's lit. Yeah, but fair cops, I don't know if they're cops. I don't know what's happening. Anyways, I... I just got to interject real quick. Um, <clears throat> if I, I tried this once and it was really... really Sucked the cop off. Really enjoyable. Um, <laughs> if anyone so is ever like... If you're ever... Just, I mean, I wasn't in the mood at the time. I guess you could, it doesn't matter how you're feeling. But if anyone ever asks you, like, I know you from somewhere. Like, why do I know you? Why do I know your face? Blah, blah, blah. I was, I was on a, uh, the shuttle at one point from LA to the Uber place, you know? Yeah, yeah. And this guy was like, just drunk. I kind of made annoying. He's like, loud as fuck. He's like, man, I know your face from somewhere, dude. Are you like on TV? Are you like a comedian, dude? Are you like, are you like little dicky or something? I was like, <laughs> he just said all this shit and he was just like, I was just letting him go and then at the end I was like, <clears throat> like, do you watch a lot of gay porn? Oh, and this yeah. dude just went, yeah. But dude, it like silenced the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, everyone started geeking at this dude. So if you, if anyone's ever like giving you a hard time and like trying to like not say your actual name, just hey man, you big gay porn enthusiast, like yeah, it dude, worked really well. I love this. I it didn't was, think about that. Yeah, I don't know why it just came to me in that moment. How did he? How did he react to it? Did he just get crazy? He was. He was. Dude, pissed. He's pissed. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's funny how they react shows who they are at heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pissed, and everyone else was laughing, and I just that is funny. I feel like you get looks based on obviously your face and who you are, but like you're just tall too. So people just like yeah. I, where, when I saw you going to Indianapolis, you show up no, j just you, like no hat, no sunglasses, the most young gravy looking motherfucker ever. Like, couldn't be more you than you. Yeah. Do you not I, try to dress down, put a hat on, nothing? Sometimes. Well, it was hot that day. I was really sweating. It was. If you remember, I was, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. sweating. Um, I usually wear a hoodie, and I started wearing a COVID mask with the hoodie, and that is very effective. Um, yeah. But LA, it's usually not that bad. It's like if I want to land somewhere is when I usually, like if it's in the Midwest oh, LA's or, great, or, or the South like, or something, yeah. yeah, that's when it's really 
ignorant. Oh, but. yeah, but that's when you know a show's going to be lit. When you land in the TSA, just like, hey, slow the fuck. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they let, let, you, you let you go immediately. Dude, they fucking leaving border Canada. Patrol. I was leaving uh, Calgary. Shout out Calgary. The Texas up there. They're, dude, they had mullets in Bass Pro Shop hats. It was wild. Yeah. I'm leaving there, and the customs guy... He goes, passport, and I look, he goes, oh, bro, I know you, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that too. But I, usually, they're either like, what the fuck are you doing here? That customs will make you reevaluate your whole entire life. Going into Calgary or leaving Calgary? Going into it. What are you doing here? Like, uh, good jokes? I don't jokes, jokes? Dude, this happened to me once before. I was literally walking back into Vancouver, and this guy, I'm like walking up to him, he's like, just go. Yeah, and I'm like, whoa, but that's like probably illegal, but yeah, all right. That's, that's, very illegal. Shit, like, <laughs> that's how you know that every job, there's a loophole, not even a loophole or just somebody can be like, you know, you go to a place, and you're like, can I get extra ranch? Like, oh, my boss actually says I can't do that. You can. Yeah. If you were a fan of the person, you can do it. It's the same thing with the TSA. You walk in. Oh, dude, you're good. I know you. So it's like, it's like that type of stuff. Or they grill you at the customs. One time I said I was there for like, just doing like comedy and the guy just stared at me. He goes, you're a comedian. I was like, dude, please don't make me like, you just grilling me on the spot. <laughs> I can't do it. When I'm in the line, I'm like rehearsing yeah. the stuff I should know. Like, I'm Michael Blossom. I'm Michael Blossom. I'm, my Instagram I'm here ready for to comedy. Go, like, I'm here for comedy. This is me. I'm, yeah. I'm really good at talking to them, but I have like a slight criminal record. And I think hey. the slight one's hilarious. There must be. So I've told you guys, I think the stories, a couple of them. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they there must be something on my like record that just says like Sketch. someone bad, at bad one point boy. was like we don't like him or he's a douchebag be rapper funny? because every time I go into Canada I get held to the border for like two hours and really? they just two like, hours dicks to me well yeah God, just the other damn. day in Calgary it was two hours just hit him up I feel like you're like the mayor of Vancouver I mean well this was Calgary though Calgary uh, Calgary is the closest thing to no like the south the south America Vancouver yeah, usually yeah. gets me too though I don't know do you but still it, live in Canada oh uh, yeah I still live in Canada uh, Vancouver still yeah how was that going. It's fine. I'm barely ever there, but yeah. I sold I sold my apartment. Kind of just moved home with my parents because whenever I'm home, I'm, I'm I just want to see my parents anyway. So so like, are you that's wholesome? Are, yeah, yeah, are nice. you not there because you're just torn a bunch? Yeah, I'm. I have been only home for about like two weeks this year. So you only you only been home for two weeks? Yeah. Where do you send mail? Uh, that's a great my parents' question. house. Really? Yeah. So they get all the, these like gifts and free free yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And they're always like opening it like it's Christmas all the time. <laughs> And my dad, That's my cute. dad's like, "Oh, look what you got today!" And I'm like, "This is dope." Yeah, my dad That's always cute. opens my mail. He's like, "I just want to see what it was. It was important." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like a massive dildo. Hey, it's important. So yeah. why why aren't you just not gonna tour after this? You're gonna take a break. I just want to make music. I haven't really been making music. We yeah, both it's probably hard really to make music making... on the road. I it's, see people doing that, but I'm like, I'd be stressed out. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. it's like your voice is tired. You don't really want to go to the studio. You want to rest. And yeah, I think people it, set up the studio energy. in their hotel, take a photo of it, and be like, all right, go to bed. Yeah. Mm. Like there's something about the optics of it being like, yo, he's in the Motel Six spin. Yeah. It's kind of like us though, because when I'm on the road, I don't want to like. I generally don't want to create. I don't touch bits. emails. I just want to fuck. I yeah. I, I, I get lost, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I on Monday, I'm like, I didn't do anything. Like, I'm not answering one email, yeah. no text. Like, it's just crazy. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Where's it, the funniest place you guys have ever recorded? Funniest. Um, was it in a moving car? <laughs> That's great though. Like Triple J, <laughs> which is like but, the Australian radio company. They wanted me to do like this remix of uh, Like Said Fred, like I'm too sexy. And they were like, we need a recording now. And I just recorded it in the movie. Something car. about a car, though, makes you like acoustically and just like the, the environment you're moving. It feels like you could get it a hot It sounded 16. terrible, but they still said it was okay. So, oh, fuck yeah. On, yeah. That's but, hilarious. How do you guys get it? This is, this is such a radio question, but how do you guys get, how do you go, where do you guys feel the most creative, I guess? Like, Man, is if there we like, knew, what's up? If that'd I be knew, the answer. That would be yeah. the answer. Uh, yeah. well, I think you keep looking for it. And maybe when you're, le or you're not looking for it, it's when you find it. I think it. it's, it's more just like timing and, you know what you got going on in your life yeah i honestly write a lot of shit on like plane rides like yeah. it's like i feel more creative there just because i haven't i'm blocked off from anybody else or late at night i feel like there's no distractions yeah, he for loves me it late at night because your, your phone's not well, yeah going nobody's hitting yeah. you up and it's just like for everything's like calmer at that hour and yeah. um yeah i don't know it's just like here's the, the worst part much. about the planes now because i just because i switched to t-mobile not an ad but i did sounds like an and <laughs> the, you get you essentially get free wi-fi so now I'm all, I have Wi-Fi on a plane. It so fucks me up. So now I'm getting texts, I'm getting emails, I'm getting all this shit. Just so you know, if anyone who has T-Mobile, if you type in their number, you get free Wi-Fi. So you can just type in his number. Really? I have like three. I have a list of all my homies Thanks, that have T-Mobile. Gotcha, wow, that's crazy. I used to do it with my friends at uh, Bonds. has got it. Booby Ludovelli's got it. Yeah, just I right. got you. Do you listen when they do specials? 
When you're at a restaurant, they gonna, they start no. listening off shit. But do you I'll, guys listen to like the, the daily special? Yeah. yeah I, I, do. I do. Usually it's like the freshest. <gasps> you guys are, really? You guys are way better than me. That's, yeah, I, I, I can't listen. I listen. You know, I'm like, oh, I'll hype them up. But, oh, that's today? Oh, if, oh if nice, that, If that dude Drop stopped him. in the middle of the specials and go, what I just say? He should. I'm fucked. That would be funny. I was so fucked up when they give me this, like, I'll be like, what do you like here? And they'll be like, oh, Beef Wellington. I'm like, cool, I'll get a cheeseburger. Yeah, I feel bad. Why did you make me say what you like here, then go against it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was just saying that this morning when we had brunch. Was that this morning? No, it was yesterday two morning. days ago. <laughs> two, 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 <laughs> multiple <laughs> days ago in the morning, we went, we went to uh, breakfast, and I was just saying, I was like, man, I love asking them what I should get or what the best things are on the menu are, but then you kind of have to pick from those things, you know? and if you don't, you kind of feel like a weirdo. It, I usually go, I believe in you, miss, but I, I'm probably going to get this. I always want to just... Let them know that I do. Believe I hate that you. even more. Uh, I I believe you. I believe you, but I don't like. I feel like it's like corking wine. When you cork a wine, you're like, oh, like let me try something. They pour a little bit. You're not gonna say no to the bottle. Oh, that is true. Never. Like I, I've, I've never I, seen I, anybody. Recently, I've been asking a lot of servers. I was like, has anyone ever said no? Because I've been going to like really expensive restaurants in hey, Europe. Come on and now. Like, All right. Hey, hey, baby, we got start, money. We should start testing that shit. We should start doing. Being a little bit uh, pranksters, you know? Like absolute douchebag. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, <laughs> a, right get a sip of wine and, and say no and just see what happens, dude. Because but uh, yeah, they always are just like, no, no one would. I don't drink wine. wine. That culture is so fancy to me. Like, I feel like they would give me a little bit of wine. I got to swirl it like my dad does. I mean, that shit makes no difference. The wine tastes like wine, in my opinion. Really? But I'm yeah, not like that different? much of it. It's not different. Right? I've, I've had like a thousand dollar bottle of wine next to a twenty dollar bottle of wine. And I mean, it was like my favorite twenty dollar bottle of wine, but. I, I, I'm biased. Franzi, it goes hard. You got to really study that shit and like be a scientist. My parents are in it. They got like something they put on the top and it like aerates it. So oh, when it pours, like yeah. bubbles Canter. out. I'm like, this shit is, this is crackhead energy. This is like no different than smoking a bubbler yeah. behind a 7-Eleven. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same thing with like like Folgers coffee or uh, okay, I got you. like, you know, yeah, really, yeah. really it's well roasted. Town or some yeah. shit. I was, I, a, I, I was a server in New York at this like fancy restaurant. And someone ordered a bottle of wine. It was like. I think it was like five hundred bucks. It wasn't wasn't it wasn't crazy expensive, but it wasn't it wasn't like cheap. And expensive. I fucked up and I <laughs> and I I corked a little bit of it. So there's a little bit of cork in there, and I like fished oh, it out. I you fished it out, it out? dog. You With like what? Your fingers? Because dude, I because because I I had yeah. yes because if I had zero dollars at the time, dude. If, if they if the restaurant finds out that I corked it, I owe the restaurant five hundred dollars. I can't serve this, so I fucking fished it out whatever using little like bar straws to fish the wow. cork out. And I poured it, and I was praying. Oh, that, that not one little piece? Well, I was praying the person wouldn't send it back. And you know what? They sent it back, and I had to pretend. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, my man is just is such a douchebag. But 100% cork. Oh, so you just spun it on them? Of course. That's, wow. I don't have $500. Dude, that's like... That I mean, that, that like, is fair. $500 for a bottle of wine is, like, not chill. So what would the correct thing have been to do in that? Not cork it? Like, I don't, I'm Tell lost. the truth. So... Do you know what corking is? <laughs> it's, it's when you get a little bit. You, you get a little because I fucked it up. I opened it wrong. A little bit of cork got in the got in the thing, and once once a little bit of cork gets in the wine, it like the wine's corked or the fuck. I guess it like messes up the taste. Or well, whatever. it's, it's like I remember in high school when no one had a fucking wine opener, and you you still bought a wine yeah. from like somewhere. That's my like favorite nice, moment in every you, pregame. You're in the back of a car with a ski pole or some shit. Yeah, like that's the best part of every pregame when people figure out how they gotta try to get it out. That's when the real crackheads come out like, no, you gotta use a lighter on the side. You gotta hit it from the back. No, pretend it's like I've a always, pack of ketchup. You would always jam it in. That was yeah, the that's only true. cure. Then yeah, it just, yeah, yeah. The next morning it's like floating around in there. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's hilarious. I've never been drunk off wine. Is that weird? It's amazing. Is it? I think it's the best drunk. It what, is what's nice. The, what, what is it? It's is it bubbly. Like more like relaxed? But it's well, like, why not? Why it's like you're paying for a have... really bad hangover. You though. feel like how know. Captain Jack Sparrow talks. You just kind of feel like. I'm like Captain Jack Sparrow all the time. I was just, maybe that's you why. You are. Yeah. He just looks like him. Dude, he looks what? Like, he looks like Johnny Depp. That's how the why. fuck yeah. did I miss this? Maybe that's yeah. why I was staying directly it's at you. That's hot as shit. By the way, dude. has that like. By the way, we did the podcast, but it was over Zoom, so I didn't really get a good look at you. Your skin's amazing. Thanks, man. I mean, what's your routine, Dad? I'm Armenian. So like that's his routine. That that's all I I do. Wake up Armenian. No, I literally Armenian. do nothing. Okay, well, isn't that the worst I when you eat, go? I'm just born this way, bitch. Dude, on it, honestly, <laughs> I but I eat gluten free, dairy free, and I try not to have sugar. Do you say it out of the sun? No, a little bit, not much. Do you put on sunscreen? No. Whale semen? Yes. There you Whale go. I knew something. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just like always have had really good skin. Fortunately, people comment all the time. All the time. They have to. I mean, yeah. this shit is fucking crisp. Yeah. Like a goddamn apple. It is kind of perfect. Huh? It is. I got a question. Like, like we had a, a, the makeup person come to do our photo shoot today, 
And she was like, do you do you want any? I was like, no. And she That's like, crazy. You have perfect skin. And I was like, yeah, I know. Ooh. So it's 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 a blessing. I just drink a lot of water too. That's a, that's Stay hydrated. A yeah. Yeah, I drink a shitload of water, but I just you but know. you're just like also like three inches every which way possible larger than I am, <laughs> and like a bigger person. You just need more water. Big oh, yeah, oh I drink more water than anybody. I, I never have yellow pee. Anyways, I BLP? um I never have yellow pee. Oh. Uh, but I have acne in my family, and I think that's probably just you don't have that maybe. God damn. My dick is hard, and yours can be too. Blue chew, who chew? What's Blue Chew? Uh, the greatest thing ever invented. It's a chewable tablet with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, and it gets your cock ready. Oh my God, Hi, but I'm sharks. only 20. Invest in my hard cock. I'd buy it. Let me get 50%. $2 million. I'll give you 100%. Really? Twice. All two rounds. Round. But what if oh, I don't have a problem getting bricked up? Oh, what about round two, buddy? Whoa. Yep. What about round two? What round about two, it? al dente. Okay, round two, I'm like, <laughs> please, buddy, get hard. Becky's ready. Dude, the process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. No doctor's visits. No awkward standing yep. at CVS. They send it to you in a discreet package. Speaking of package, grow yours. Let's go, dude. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Okay, so discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew, Chew it and do, do it. it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code SOCKS at checkout. Okay? All you got to do is pay $5 for shipping. No big deal. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive your first month free. Again, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Chew it and do it. God damn. You guys had a milk carton at the show? He always was that on the yeah, rider? He drinks a lot of milk. That man. was for you? Well, no, that was Bro, the... what the fuck? I do, you I do milk? Drink milk. You know, I do milk. What the <laughs> mid the fuck hey, is going hey, on here? Hey, hey, and hey. then you dog is all jigging the back so, of the It's spinner. so interesting how he protects himself when he's drinking milk. I'm like, dude, you can't but, you can't back yourself. But I was like, in your guys' green room, I was like, oh, what's on this dude's rider? It's a lot of stuff you think. Some drinks, some Lunchables, some Celsius, and then a gallon of milk. So that was the old rider. Because I used to be able to pour milk into like cups and with the cereal and give them to people until I found out that all the like promoters hated me because I was creating like these milk mess messes all over yeah, the Oh yeah. I'm the, dude, if I'm at a concert, I'm fucking hucking them yeah. behind me. So my rider's way different That's now, great, but they, they have the concert. They have the old one. Cereal? Oh yeah, do they stop well, the show and they give out water bottles? Cereal yeah. in the crowd now, I give out launchables and shit. Before it was like I would give hand out pieces of rotisserie chicken. That's that that new that. and pour milk on people. That's and very and funny, but also like do your fingers after touching rotisserie chicken is crazy. It was it was like the fans liked it, but the, the employees did not like that. All the time you would see like the rotisserie chicken hit the ground, people like grab it off the ground and eat it and shit and like Oh. And yeah, dude, there was some kid eating like Cheerios off the ground yeah. at the OC show. Why and Andrew that... turns around and was like, dude, like, you see this? And I'm like, oh. Dude, people sell them on like, like pick up some of the fucking yeah, cereal and sell it online. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. I think people, when Steve Aoki does a cake, people are probably running up and like licking yeah, it off yeah, people's yeah. faces. <laughs> you're just any, you could throw anything in the crowd. And since it's coming from you guys, they're stoked. You throw a chainsaw, they're like, me. Uh, <laughs> and they'll be like trying to get a piece after it. It makes I'll sense. I'll be honest. Though. If I went to a concert and I really liked the person and uh, I got I got hit with a fucking avocado in the face, yeah, I would be stoked. Dude, guess what I'm telling the office Monday morning? Why do I bruise avocado? Guacamole, bitch. You wouldn't get it. This was you Uzi, had to be there. Well, Uzi Vert's avocado. <laughs> <laughs> this is a large Haas avocado right here, baby. <laughs> For real, has the like the wishbone from a turkey you threw out or something just in you know? Like I didn't have it on, on a chain. Yeah. Yeah. People crazy. definitely like like will like take the water bottles we throw out and like. Put them Dude, up I fucking, places. this is a hilarious story. I don't know if I ever said this, but like you just want to collect anything from that person. I saw Dave Chappelle at the comedy store like 2017, uh, Christmas Eve. And it was it was like they post about it like unannounced secret headliner midnight and I text my buddy I was like dude it's gonna be Dave Chappelle let's go so we're we're in there this room holds like seventy people he's smoking a fuck ton of cigarettes on stage and then after the so show good. was done oh, it was awesome Norm Macdonald opened it was an insane show oh, wow Norm Macdonald is the funniest guy that died died that's right yeah so oh, very I had funny. not seen this shit really dude, he was the opening Damn. comedian like didn't wait like hey how you guys doing like just walked out there and started talking into a microphone the people like the younger people in the crowd were just like what is happening who is this but everybody was like fuck it just Norm he's doing his thing. Thing. He's the guy that played uh, God, Burt Reynolds on SNL. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Just so, want to clarify. Yes. Yeah. So 
for whatever reason, my check was the last to get uh, you know back from the servers that night. It's just me and my buddy. Everybody has left the room. Me and my buddy are in there. The only people in the lights are on. And I see this stage in the belly room. It's like a small stage of the comedy store. And I see three of his cigarettes on the ground. I walk over. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to take a Dave Chappelle cigarette. <laughs> so I took his cigarette. This is where it gets hilarious. The next day... So I would remember that it was Dave Chappelle's cigarette. I took a Sharpie and wrote Dave on it. <laughs> but then it, ne- You've never said it. Oh, I have I, this, I, it's it's I, at my parents' house. I wrote Dave so on it funny. because I wanted to remember that it was Dave Chappelle's cigarette. But now I'm thinking like, did this mother, did everybody's just going to think that I forged Dave Chappelle's signature <laughs> when I could have just wrote it on a plastic bag outside of it. And you could have just known that the only cigarette that you yes. have that's half smoked yes. is Dave Chappelle. So in cigarette. a clear like little joint tube at my parents' house, there's a Dave Chappelle cigarette that he smoked that I signed with a sharpie that says Dave on it. Comes full circle. I met him two weeks ago, and uh, I think my dad knows the story. He's like, "Did you tell him about the cigarette?" No. Weirdest <laughs> you know thing. How weird ever. that would be. Uh, hey, Dave, dude, you're such an awesome man. I have a cigarette you smoked from 2017. Still smells like you. Love your work. I, I sleep with I it. I would maybe tell. I don't know. It, tell. If I ever get super close to them or something, I'll tell them I'm like a drunk night. But I have a uh, Trevor Wallace, Dave Chappelle signed cigarette. So That's, that's cute. It's a cute story. I think yeah, that's what it really is. Cool. But yeah, I don't know why. But it's the same thing. It's that person who was doing the thing that you love has like anything left over. Yeah. He could have like spilled like a receipt on the ground. I'd be like, dude, it's fucking Dave Chappelle's receipt. I love it. What's the weirdest thing you guys have signed? Have I already asked you this? I think yeah, we I've Maybe. signed babies. Um, I signed a DUI. To- to- toasters. Nice. Birth certificates. Toasters. Birth certificates. Some of Kind of like everything, yeah. honestly. Like, uh, yeah, I'll I, never like not sign anything. It just doesn't stop. Married. Yeah. I, 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 I sent a marriage certificate. Really? Like, as like as like. Did the, you get married to that woman because of that no, right. no, I mean, like Jesus, I was read, read the I was print. like the witness. Of, uh, uh, but, oh shit! Yeah. That's awesome. But I wasn't actually at the wedding, so I don't really know. I don't know. They just. I was like, sure. The valid still? Someone maybe write Boy, bitch on their forehead. So. Really? Yeah. That's dope. In Sacramento. That is very He fitting. goes, write bitch on my forehead. <laughs> Do you want it in silver sharpie or black? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, the, <laughs> the wildest thing that I've seen a lot of people start doing is, is they ask you during meet and greet to... They're like, draw anything, and I'll get it. Get it tatted. Yeah. And oh, I hate I did that. that. And I'm oh, like, dude, pressure. I don't want to give you a whack tattoo. I can't draw. I always draw the same thing because I'm actually going to draw this like one little flower. And then now my fans are That's posting cool, on Reddit, yeah. and they're like, "Man, I have the same fucking tattoo as you. He drew the same thing." I'm like, "But now I feel bad." No, 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 no. That's cool. I mean, That's I think like a signature. Sick. Yeah, yeah. I do. But I, I don't do know. I don't. Shirt. I don't know if they're like speaking happily about it though. I think they're like frustrated that they got the exact same tattoo. Maybe just add one more pedal each time you do it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. You but said you do a rocket ship. A little rocket ship, yeah. But it's kind of That's funny cool. because it, like I start it, so it looks like it's about to be a penis. Yeah. Just kidding. But that is one of the only things I can draw as a rocket ship. I That's pretty I, cool. I've always got signatures. No one's ever asked me to like. I've done like signatures. Happen, yeah. People get tattoos, but no one's ever been like draw anything. Yeah. Draw yeah. anything. It's a math equation. So, started doing COVID. I don't know why, but that would make me so nervous. But it is a cool story. It's cooler than like just a signature. If somebody's like, "Why do you have like half a SpongeBob tattooed on you?" I'm like, "Well, you know, young gravy drew it." So it's a good conversation <laughs> yeah, topic, cool. I guess. I don't know, but it is like a weird thing to put you in. You're like, wait, now I'm tatting your body. Yeah, I'm from something I'm doing. I'm an illustrator. So too? weird. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Kind of stressful for sure. Um, Gabe, we got any questions? Yeah, yep. we got two questions. And we'll... I also can't really talk because I have I had Martha Stewart on my arm. So you had Martha Stewart on your arm, <laughs> and I tied it. Yeah, I did not that's that, phenomenal, that bro. But like, that's of course, dude. The way I heard this guy in the car the other day, he's like, I think I might go to Shania Twain's place for a little bit. I'm like, do you what? <laughs> what, what a weird you're thing. Yeah, yeah. Like that's yeah. huh? Yeah, Shania I Twain. I just I don't know. I'm good at befriending people. Like you have a certain category of celebrities that are just like so untapped market of like friends. Yeah, like weird. Like everybody wants to be like, I want to be friends with this person, that person. You're like, oh, I'm kicking with Martha Stewart. Like, dude, that's amazing. Martha I never would have thought yeah, of that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you're the best friends like Topanga from Boy Meets World. The, probably. She was so hot. Still is so hot. I've, I've never seen it. I don't know. You but, don't know Boy Meets World? Well, I heard of it. Man, crazy enough, I made this song with this guy Connor Price, and he says Topanga died, and. I had no idea what Topanga was when I wrote the verse for him. And the first line is, I just looked up what Topanga means. And all I came out with when I looked it up was Topanga in California. And I still had no idea that it was Boy Meets World. Yeah. But I just... She passed away? No. No, no, no. But there was it, like a rumor. I just had no fucking idea who Topanga was. I'd never watched Boy Meets World. Man, makes my heart jump a little bit thinking about her. Dude, Sophia Vergara is single. Sophia, Sophia Vergara uh-huh. is single. I know. So you love her? I do. I love her. I love, like, I don't know why. Have you shot the shot? So what do you mean obsessed. you don't know why? She's so beautiful. I'm so upset. I'm, but just like way above anyone else on earth. Really? Yeah, I'm just obsessed. Her old husband is bad. 
And yeah, he was in like Magic Mike. And I think the yeah. move is you make a song about that person. If that song pops off, then they're like, all right. She now definitely we- knows of me because I put up a picture. There was a girl named Sophia who ran up on me when I was shooting a video in Oklahoma and took a picture with me. And like she captioned it, this whole thing about like how we were about to get married. And I was like, yeah, I sent it to, to Tip. And I was like, just jokingly, I was like, hey, bro, you should just edit in Sofia Vergara and just change the name on the on the screenshot. Yeah. And and I thought it was, I mean, it, it was a decent Photoshop job, but like people are dumb. And everyone thought that I was about to like, get engaged to fucking Sofia Vergara. It's probably still up on my Instagram somewhere. Wait, maybe somewhere. I did see that. Because dude, yeah, it popped off. And then, and then there was like actual like Colombian media outlets that were like talking about it no. and shit. And they were like, they were like, oh, rapper lies. And all. I'm like, dude, like it was a little <laughs> That's so funny. That's joke. the one thing that they call you out. Like, rapper lies. Yeah, liar. But, but rapper uses funny. Photoshop. Oh, is that it? Yeah, dude, that's that it. It's actually pretty that's good, a dude. very good Photoshop. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I didn't think so. I mean, I feel like if you edit photos. No, you... it does look good because it's got like the arm and like the sun goes over her face too. It Wait, is oh, a really good Photoshop, it? man. I'll be honest. Wait. <laughs> See, All right, I got you. So it was literally like another girl named Sophia something, and we just literally edited the Vergara over the Sophia. I'm so dumb. And then, dude, it's so bro. I would die so quick in a war. Like they'd be, like, follow me, Sophia Vergara. Like, Whoa, that's crazy. I believe that. I probably honestly like that photo. I bet you did. That's hilarious. Damn, I'm about She's to take a photo of Michelle Obama fake, tomorrow. Fake, fake Sophia Vergara is it's so hot. That's like that looks like AI Sophia. Have you seen her when she was younger too? Uh-uh. Like I like her older vibes now, but like young Sophie Vergara is ridiculous. This, this, she was on a travel just show. Just Latin women, day. Latin women well, in oh, general. Go YouTube, go YouTube, go YouTube. It's like her like giving a tour of somewhere in like Spain or some shit. Well, you get the idea. Stars of the WB. Yes. Oh my god! Insane. Oh, so that's like that's a human being. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Dude, women are so hot. Uh, what so is cool. that? It's so fun. It's, it's like, like you look, you like you want to like. I, it so makes me cool. so angry. I want to yeah. fight somebody. So cool. Just like a moment yeah, of silence, it please. Me, it is crazy <laughs> when uh, a woman rejects a man. Men just go into the streets and fight other men. Like that's how crazy hot somebody. <laughs> like look outside of a bar. At, whenever there's a fight, it's because everyone's testosterone is up because they got rejected all night. Then they just fight each other. Honestly, it's crazy. You know what's crazy about it is that makes sense to me. You, why? That's dope. Because it's like it. It's like you're you've been battling, trying to, like, essentially fornicate, and then you lose, and you're angry. Yeah, but you're just gonna take it out on another horny dude. A hundred percent. You think about that. The dude you're squaring up with is equally as horny as you. So probably <laughs> take these fists yeah. and put them here and get each other off that's, and go home. Wake yeah, yeah. up the next morning that's, and be like, I think I'm that's all right. The future. So when I think it, go- it will get, we'll get to that point someday. Dude, I think cops instead of like when there's riots, they're not gonna have guns. They're just gonna have a bunch of flashlights. Like everybody, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. It well, makes also, sense. Also, when when. What was it? Someone was just telling us a story just like this the other night. And I guess it's a common thing, but like there was some dude, this happened to one of my good friends where his girl was like super drunk and like bitching out some other girl and they were like beefing. And then she started yelling at the boyfriend. And so my friend's girl starts yelling at his boyfriend, like just drunk, like kind of being crazy. And then the dude just looks at her. He's like, I can't hit you. Where's your boyfriend? What the fuck? Yeah, that's looks fucked, at him man. and just punches him in the face. Like my homie was getting it. secondhand smoke. He didn't even lot. know. He didn't even that's know. So it was outrageous, going on. dude. I know. I, he was like, "That's just like I need to take this out on somebody." No, I, I've seen yeah. that before. That makes sense. That's I was just crazy. like crazy, dude. That's that's why I get. An elf that's why I get so boy. annoyed when if I'm with a girl and she's like talking shit to like another dude. I'm like, can we oh, stop? It goes to you. Because then I'm gonna have to yeah, fight yeah, yeah, this yeah, person. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. you, you gotta stop, man. Well, because that guy's looking at the girl, then looking at you to be like, correct. Are you gonna do? Are you gonna like help yeah. her relax, or it, is it me and you? I'm like fighting a man in front of bananas. I don't. I, what are we doing yeah. here? I think the craziest thing is when a woman finds out a man is cheating and then that girl tells another girl and then those two girls become friends over some dude. Mm-hmm. You, That's every, definitely very common. It blows my mm-hmm. mind. How did y'all meet? Derek's dick. <laughs> you know what blows, blows my mind, my mind. You know what blows my mind? If, if the dude walks in and his wife is cheating on, on him with a dude, he fights the dude. Yeah, but he, Can you talk to kills, the situation before you dude. fight yeah, me? Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's I didn't even know you existed. I'm gonna yeah. lie detect her immediately. Did you know that she was married? Hundred percent no. I feel you like you know. I feel I like knew. I would rather I like knew. team up with it, bro, and be like, dude, like we should we should we should pray on her streets. downfall. Yeah, we have, we clearly have the same type, so let's go out there and get this shit. <laughs> but it is crazy how the dude immediately gets smoked. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> He's like, I didn't I know. I didn't know you existed. Leave yeah. me alone. Le- Here's the thing. See, I just, just moved here yesterday. I was horny. Yeah, just ask me. 
Just ask me. Did you know I existed? Funnier. Did you know that she had a husband? There's macaroni drawings everywhere around the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's pictures of them on the but wedding. That is crazy. Wow. It makes yeah. sense, though. I do the same thing. If you walk in and your wife's cheating on... Well, I'm, I'm actually not funny. I'm, what are you doing? If you walk in, your wife of five years, you have two kids, you love her... I'm literally walking out the door. I'm going to call another bitch and get some pussy. 100%. Um, yeah, I'm, 100%. Not, I'm not about to deal with I'm that again. I'm flying to Amsterdam Ghosting with $40,000. That's yeah. more powerful than creating a scene. Yeah, I'm putting her luggage outside of my own home that she was fucking in, and I'm going to go get some ass. And I'm going to hope that she has a sister who's loose. So, oh, yeah, or a friend. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's, a, good, that's a good call. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's that's a good petty yeah. to get back. Or the mom. Honestly, first thing I'm doing, guaranteed crying. <laughs> five years, bro. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, dude, if I'm with someone for five years, I probably love them you dearly. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, and I'm gonna be like, I, and, and Matt would have that like two weeks later. You go on a bed, yeah, yeah, then, then I'm sitting yeah. in a hotel about to go car. dirty dog mode and yeah. fuck everything I see. I would probably yeah. walk in and be like, keep going, <laughs> start fucking it. Oh, you scared of me? And then I hit the fire alarm and be like, oh, y'all can't fuck with a little bit of noise in here. Make them really uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The guy's like, dude, relax, man. We're trying to fuck. I'm like, just like you walk in, you hear it happening, you go put on like. A jigsaw mask yeah. and you walk in there like trying yeah. to play yeah. the other guy's like dude you're killing the vibe bro get out of here like, dude my bad my bad I, like, yeah, I, I hate on, confrontation I put on like the I, I wedding leave. video like go the ahead wedding? the wedding video go ahead fuck oh, to that? this go ahead yeah, have yeah. fun kids come see your mother yeah. that's crazy yeah yeah, yeah. that's crazy uh, um, but cool. crying realistically I think I would walk out but then I'd try to like I would like light her Subaru on fire like I would do something like that I would be so angry I'd have to do something but I wouldn't do anything to them or some of the, yeah, I don't even know. That's crazy. Yeah, so they take, take like a really hefty shit in her toilet, and then like, yeah, plug wow, it. You're dark yeah. too. And then and then oh, like and then hold it down so then it starts flooding my shit everywhere. Yeah, or just call my like exotic pet guy and, and be like, I need a mountain house. line, and then just release <laughs> it into the house. <laughs> I'm definitely leaving the, the guy alone. The guy, the guy. Yeah, the guy. I'm not. Out. I'm not finding yeah, the guy. He's all right. Yeah, I get because yeah, he's it's also a compliment. Unless I know, compliment your wife. Yeah. Unless hey. I know the guy, unless I knew the guy somehow. Yo, oh, know the guy, I know the guy, it's a problem. Has this ever swimming. happened to you guys? Okay, so there's one time I hooked up with some girl, and nice then flex. she was dating Hell some yeah, guy. Sex. I, I kissed the girl. <laughs> hey, 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 oh, hey, good hey. for you. No, 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 wrong oh, one. <laughs> wait, wait, say, say one more time you had sex? I had sex. Incognito time. No, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex. Incognito time. <laughs> uh, and... <laughs> I guess she she was like two timing me blah 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 whatever it was and her boyfriend at the time like DM'd me oh no oh, and shit. he was just like yo like did you have sex with her I was like uh yeah like what well, like I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> and which one's that he was like so yeah. thankful he was like thank you for this knowledge like I really appreciate your honesty and I'm like this guy a poet why the fuck he's talking I, like that I don't know I don't was know was it music related or just no like, it was just some, it was like hundred percent must have just been like some toxic behavior relationship wow. i think but but like have you guys ever ran into that experience Bro, i saw the craziest no. No. interaction that happened i i have but i've seen i've heard things like that which is real it's like y'all just bonding over but i saw the situation where this dude started dming another dude and he was like yo i just fucked your girl she's cheating on you God. and she told me about you i'm gonna i just i just like what's your cash app and he Ooh. like he went into the girl's cash app and sent half the money to himself and half the money to the boyfriend. That's fine. And he was he was like, "Don't fuck with her again." And he like robbed some shit out of their house. And he was like, "Hey man, let's go get some pussy sometime." And like sent that message and then left. Wow, I was like, I "That is the that craziest." See, fucking that's who I want to vote for. And both of them were just being nice. He was like, "Oh, thanks, homie. Like, appreciate that, man. That's very nice of you." Like, yeah, but that that's the same thing I just said a, a couple minutes ago, where the girls find out the guys cheating, and then they become friends. Yeah, yeah. It's it was, like, it was oh, like, thanks for looking out because I I would have just kept dating without knowing. So you're a good friend, which is rare. I mean, you're saving someone's time, and time is money. So that's true, pussy. Yo, how do you feel about those girls? <laughs> <laughs> hit it, hit it, pussy. <laughs> And I kiss girls. <laughs> hey! How do you feel about the girls that employ another girl to DM the boyfriend to see if he uh, would, well, to like see if he would cheat? Uh, I'm out. It seems like the relationship was already on rocky terrain. Yeah, yeah, super that's, vindictive. That's, that's, that's weird. That's weird. I don't know. I, don't I mean, it, but to be fair though, if that's already happening, if that someone wants that to happen, then just they're not meant for each other. So just correct. That's what I'm it. saying. It seems like it was already a yeah. little rocky. No, I've never had that where you're talking about what happened to you, but I have had. A girl tell me she goes, "Your our relationships hall pass." Like my husband was like, "Oh, you can do whatever if it's with Trevor Wallace," and I'm like, "Really? That's your hall pass? Not I've, Brad Pitt?" 
But did you actually fuck her? No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. And, and oh. not out of disrespect. I was just like, this, this is too much pressure at once. This is going to be a recently. Recently. Dude, that is a little... If you come quick, fuck. Yeah, I've, I've had the... Pass. God damn. I've, I've, had had the 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 fucking, I've had the fucking boyfriend tell me and point at the girl. He was like... We were, I was at a bar and he was like, yo, you're my wife's hall pass. There she is. That's so much pressure to and put And that's you. all he said. He didn't even say anything like, do you want... I was just like... Thanks, man. Thank, like, it, I, thank it was, you. It's very nice. Yeah, it was, also, it what type really of sex? Awesome. Like, what type of sex job you think you just? Hey, go fuck my wife. <laughs> what, dude? No, I'm not a piece of meat. Yeah. I'd do it. At least yeah. take me out to dinner first. Fuck. Okay, if hall pass milf, but I'm in, or like has a family, full family. Does it might milf the, with kid? If the family signs off, I'm good. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, let's get the kids. To some, sign some, a I need the kids yeah, to be like, take in, my mom on a vacation. Just in Koran. Some mom <laughs> recently <laughs> born <laughs> kid was just like, hey, like you're my whole pass, and I was like, dude, no, like I don't want to like home wreck like a kid's life. Yeah, like, that's course. that's like, weird. That's weird. No, yeah. no well, kids. Well, it's not wrecking if it's the whole pass. Well, no. Yeah, but even dude, if, they, but they start you know, a like, family of kids. They go to elementary I school, was, and then, like you're gonna fuck the the wife. I don't know. It's, I was her hall deep. pass, and then his hall pass was Margaret Robbie, and I was like, okay, let's be realistic. Like, what's happening? Like A and B. Well, know, that's play. usually what happens. Is like <laughs> somebody in the relationship has a very specific like A list, absolute dime, ten out of ten. And the other person's like, yeah, just this guy that was on like a sitcom a couple years ago, trying to pipe <laughs> down. See, that's what that I'm gonna one do. seems more achievable, buddy. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm, my hall pass is gonna be the woman that works at T-Mobile. Like, it's going to be real oh. low so I can achieve it. So I'm like, oh, come on. It's my hall pass. What's your name? Kathy? AT&T yep. shoddy? Yeah. Well, no, he's saying just like a random. No, man. just yeah. random. Oh, just like, oh. But like in my head, shoddy. I think yeah. that's more the one. It's like, oh, it's a girl I grew up with. Yep. Never, I haven't seen her in 10 years, but there was something there. I just knew it. Yeah. The way she looked at me at home ec. I'm going to look at her and be like, you're She keeps cousin. changing her name. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is making me think She another. keeps changing her name so it could be anybody. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> another great. topic. That's have, good. Have you guys ever had like a girlfriend try to figure out a threesome with you yes where no, i never did where like they have rules about who the girl can be i've been in this situation a weird amount of times where like i'm allowed to have a threesome <laughs> but i have to like pick a girl that is like it's always not the same hair color as them Can't. Less, yeah, hot, totally less, different. less hot than them and blah 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 and then i would like start pitching girls and like putting them in like group chats and then it would dude it was it was <laughs> not like fantasy never works out I'm, I'm like i'm like oh yo because it would be like some girl that i've been with before and then it's just, it, i don't know it's just a really got, weird situation there was two different girls that i got on what's it called? it's called thrinder there's two different girls you were on got, it yeah thrinder. you were swiping on thrinder swiping on thrinder yeah dog with that's two, a three bark, thing? bark not not the last one with two two girlfriends whatever the fuck there's two girlfriends ago but both of them were on Fender and we were like swiping whatever and we never like executed but we got some matches and stuff it's you know what's funny it's like the thought of it was hot enough to satiate it a little bit that we didn't really move forward with it using the word satiate while talking about a threesome is crazy yo it's hot <laughs> you ever swipe with your girl on other women it's fucking hot you guys hot. argue at all I feel like that would actually, start an argument I actually did that well, with the girl I, yeah. well I would see the, I think the key is I had her swipe Smart, because I don't make a decision. No, no, no. 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 Well, it's like uh, you're watching. I'm like, oh, you, this girl kind of looks like your sister. Yes, like I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <here we go. laughs> guys, I'm so sorry. It's so hot, by the way. It's hot. Oh, it's okay. so hot. LA's pretty warm right now. I look more tan when I'm when I'm hot. It looks kind of majestic too. He do be looking black. Yeah, it's the only time I'm ever look tan wet. is when I'm sunburnt and wet. Do you ride a lot of horses? <laughs> I ride horses? Yeah. We just rode horses together. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah like I we feel rode like you have outback. perfect uh, riding horses hair. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Man, I, I ride. Most of the music videos, it's like him shooting of him just going like back and then putting yeah. his cowboy hat on. Yeah, I kept going to my eyes and I was like, yeah, yeah. It was real I just boy. realized, like what, you look like you're from the Renaissance era and you'd be really good at fencing. <laughs> yeah, he looks, like a musca a musketeer. he looks like a musketeer, yes. That's thank you. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, that's yeah. where I'm going. Like a mm. yes, but like a hot musketeer with great skin. Should we jump yeah. into questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had a question here. This comes from uh, Dakota, and they say, "When's the last time you guys got an NARB? If you don't know what it is, it's a no apparent reason boner." Today. Oh, four. Every five. time I descend on a plane, I get a raging, planes. raging planes. erection. Planes. Yep. It's yeah, so and she goes, annoying. you gotta fold your trade tables up. Do I? <laughs> that bitch <laughs> staying down <laughs> for guys, legal you reasons. Guys all get those. Yeah. Not every, descending. What? Why? Not, why? Not, That's not why I wear descending. jeans on a flight. Everybody thinks I'm a psychopath. No, Descend, descending for sure. It's just like the rock. pressure. Not descending. Like, yeah. Dude, yeah. my sinuses are tweaking and my eyeballs feel like they're gonna pop out. I have no enjoyment at all when I'm God, descending. You get a, a face erection. Yeah, no, yeah, a bad one. Yeah, face it's not cool. 
Yeah. yeah, I have morning wood in my damn eyeballs. It's not that's cool. crazy. Yeah, I, I get hard on planes, not the descending. I get hard. I'm like hard like fifty percent of the flight. We're, we're taking we're taking a flight to Amsterdam tomorrow. <laughs> we have a twelve I'm hour flight. Tomorrow. I'm gonna be hard for six hours. I'm sitting next to you. Yeah, you ain't gonna be hard no Help more. Help me. <laughs> Y'all ever jerseyed in the bathroom? Yes. This man, this man has. A, he'll take a thirty minute <laughs> yes! flight to Vegas. I haven't. That's crazy. I get it's I get excited no, if no, I pee too long. Usually uh, you're. Uh, I, I, I've like, done it like once or twice, but usually you're so torqued up. You're like holy fuck. Get it out. And you get out, you get in the washroom, you just look at one something and you're, oh, like, I, and you're done. I feel like the walk back <laughs> the walk back to the seat is crazy. Sketch. Yeah, but yeah. I, but once you make it back to your seat, any seat you're sitting in is now first class. You, I got a nut. I don't give a fuck. Dude, you know in I a jerked middle off, seat economy. You know I jerked off in the bathroom about how quick I go to sleep after I come back from the bathroom. <laughs> if I if I just smoking a cigarette in twelve C Have you guys ever jerked off yes. while driving? <laughs> <laughs> while driving, <laughs> if only dick pic I've ever sent in my life was while driving. Really okay. crazy. Mazda yeah. three. I jerked off hella times in, when I was driving. While driving, I'm yeah, like, yeah. The, okay, I thought I thought I was weird. I no, was long, like scared, long trips, and I dude. was like, <laughs> no long trip. Really? Yeah, that well, wasn't even that. a long trip. I was like 12 minutes away from my house. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to stop. I told you we started with the Kmart where I had to stop. Oh, I, yeah. I got yep. blue balls and I had to stop and jerk off. I'm talking about like going 80 miles per hour and, and jerking off. I was, no? do, yeah. I was doing Bro, numbers in the Mazda 3. I got roadhead. I, I haven't got Recently. roadhead in years. Recently? Dude, Yo, roadhead I is was, crazy. Listen, I was driving. In an go, Uber? I was, yeah, in a lift. The driver? Wait, Buddy, wait. I was driving to go pick up golf clubs. This girl, next, the and this fuck? girl next to me was like, "You know what's next? Show me your nine oh, iron." It was. I was. It came really? out of nowhere. That's awesome. That's so cool. I know. I was like, "Oh, your four hundred one k." She goes, oh. "It was." Dude, it, that's it was, like a stepdad's dream birthday day right there. I want to go look at golf clubs and I want to get my dick sucked. But you know what's so hot about it is it wasn't announced. You know, some girls like, "I'm gonna we get in the car. We're gonna I'm gonna give you road damage." That's probably weird it, out at first. It, I was, she was oh, just like, oh, she was just like, literally, right. we're just at a stoplight. She just like started rubbing my, and then she started. I was like. This is incredible. Didn't come, couldn't focus at all. Yeah. Yeah. But God. Yeah, it's damn, very difficult to focus. So when hard. I'll tell you what, I'm driving up. 10 and 2, though. My hands are Funny. gripping the wheel. I was on <laughs> the whole hair back. I'm 10 and 2. Just I, like, was yeah, on, yeah. I was on the canyon. Yeah. You were we were going Lower down canyon? the canyon. That's fucked up. That's crazy. That's I know. Crazy. I was driving a very slow. Have you ever have you ever pulled up beside someone while yeah. the walls top really? or you know? I don't yeah. think I have. I think I, truckers see it a lot. I had a short X that would I would always Stand land late at night. Yeah, you know, I would always land late at night and it would always be she'd be out partying at her college and then when I when I would or she'd pick me up in my car. Yeah. No, 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 no. I would go. Oh, I would park my car at the airport, and I would drive and pick her up. Yeah. And she'd be drunk and just horny, and instantly just like start giving me top and like get naked and like put her ass up in the window and yep. like, dude, it was it was raunchy. I, I I was like, there was multiple times where I'd be like, yeah, there's someone looking at your ass right now. She's like, I don't give a fuck. Like, oh my yeah. god. And I was like, well, okay. That's the hottest response. Somebody's looking. I don't give a shit. Fuck. And I'm like, dude, maybe you should, maybe you should chill. Maybe you should chill. Like, I think there's a lot of traffic going on. Is it illegal like, to get top while you're no. driving? I think it's public, illegal. I public feel like it is. Public indecency. I think it but is, is it illegal. public, but is it in the car public? Yes, if, you're, if, you're up the window, if, you're, if your coochie's up against the window, if your up against the window, but if your well, penis is being covered by by a face, by a mouth, I think you could de you would definitely get like reckless endangerment. Yeah, or yeah. yeah. Gabe, can you look that up? Well, Obviously, the cop is chill. California. It's not. Hey, hey, boy. Let's go. Hey. Let's go. All of the buttons. All right, bro. California vibe. Cops just pull you over. Just be like, just wanted to dap you up. No license or registration. That's fire. I'm gonna give you guys some states. Tell me if you think Roadhead's illegal or legal. Rhode Island. I was just gonna say Roadhead Island has to be legal. Please tell me Rhode Island is legal. It's not on this list. Who gives a fuck? They are approved in my book. New 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 Mexico head. Do you think that Roadhead is legal in Florida? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Sixty what? days, five hundred dollars. Are you it's kidding probably me? Probably been enough dick jumps there that Bro, they had to like. Dude, quit. they drive bys with an iguana yeah. out there. They, they top rules. off alligators, and we can't. Okay, go that ahead. Crazy. Wait, uh, all right. <laughs> wait, this is fucked up. This is all of them. It's illegal in all of these. Only California. Is it illegal in Minnesota? Uh, let's see. Let's find out. Hold on. So California's the only state that's you legal. You gotta find out the <laughs> terminal. Who you know, passed we a, that bill? We had a 13-minute drive home, dog. Is that Gavin Newsom just getting throated? He's like, hey, make it legal. So See, it's really... On. Yeah. Yeah. I, would yeah. guess, I would guess that California wouldn't be legal. It'd be the first state I'd be like, there's no way it's legal. So you can't text and well, drive, but you can text you can, and fucking ride. You know what I'm saying? Isn't Come that on insane? Now. I can't text my mom happy birthday, but some girl I just met 18 minutes ago is topping me off in my fucking... In my Mazda You 6. do drive better, though. Dog, I drive so well. I'll be driving the limit. 
do the limit. I go under. Oh, bro, I'll blinker into my driveway. I don't give a shit. Dude, I am proper. Let me tell you, I put their seatbelt on. I'm there. Two seatbelts on. It, I'm very safe. Yeah, yeah the I cautious level is definitely yeah. increased. Yeah, crazy. Dude, I, just, I, I hit it. The airbag comes out. Well, also, also, yeah, also it's like it if you do true. have an accident, she's definitely dying. <laughs> Oh, dick. <laughs> and your dick's dying. So the ambulance people are like, oh, this is pretty sick. Gabe? Uh, I can't find anything specific, but it is illegal to drive with headphones on in Minnesota, so I feel like what? my road head's also yeah, illegal. Yeah, you would think so. Yeah. That's crazy. Crazy. That's, you can't get head true. or headphones. Bullshit. This like, is a fucking America. <laughs> no head or phones. That's what I'm saying. Headphones. Headphones. Crazy. None of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got an anonymous submission here. This isn't a question. They just wanted to write in and let you guys know that uh, they say, I just threw up on a guy's dick and then he Dang made shit. me eat his ass. Honestly, every That's, piece was of this he I on love. tour with Young Gravy? That sounds like a bunk story right there. <laughs> was his name Andrew Puya? <laughs> uh, that's. Um... I mean, what, nice. well, what are we supposed to say to that? Yeah, I mean, you just thought, like, yeah. All right, you, you well, good. Him a simple I mean, yeah. the stomach acid would have kind of neutralized a little bit of the poop. That's that's wow. okay. So, all right, from a from a doctor himself. Yeah, uh, yeah. At that point, it, so, it's all a mess. Is she hyped about it, or is she <laughs> just make it like worse. A, admitting? Or? Was there any emojis? They were anonymous, so I'm gonna guess they weren't hyped on it. You know. They were like, please do not say my yeah, name. She said made. He made her. Yeah, so yeah. Do you think the stomach acid would like burn the penis? Yes. Ah. Yeah, yeah I don't think like you know my experience. Ice, you know what I'm saying? No, Come I've never now. made a girl throw up my dick. I have a small dick. Yeah. Um, we, all, we all do. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Well, well is that a podcast? Mad. I think that's what the podcast is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> small dick. Small dicks unite. Is that? Is, is great, that? This was so fun. Great time. You guys got an album coming out. When's that coming out? Or oh, do you guys know yet? A April? No, August. A August 18th. 18th. <laughs> April. April 18th. Oh, so coming up. August 18th. Yeah, the next a couple weeks. Can I put on an interlude Three weeks. one day? Yeah. yeah. That's all I want. Why don't I we just put them on an interlude like, before the album comes out? I definitely Please. have thought about that and wanted you to do it and then just like forgot to But then again, you. also whenever there's interludes on albums, I go skip. 100%. But, but you, it could be like at the end of a song Very end. Very end. The end of a song. Final yeah. song of the album. Why, why don't we put them on the final song? I don't we care. Were, we were talking about making like a bonus track like tonight or one of these days Bro, week. I will pull up and say two goddamn sentences. You can record it, a voice shit. memo Dude, no, just say Amsterdam. like, just talk for voice like an hour. Amsterdam, yeah, yeah go get some talk. Talk out your ass for an hour and we'll put you, we'll, we'll listen to it all and we'll, we'll like steal a bunch Here's of parts. What you gotta do is if you, for any reason, do end up going to the Red Light District, I wanna hear, hey! I wanna hear, any reason. I want you to record your, your uh, conversation with whoever they are, woman, doesn't matter, and I want to hear like the the is it Dutch? They speak Dutch there, yeah. The yeah. comparison and yeah, everything, yeah. and just it'll be fire. Yeah, and just just throw in baby and gravy in there and somewhere. Oh, I'll throw yeah. in some gravy somewhere. I'll tell yeah. you what. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about semen? Well, that right. might be a podcast. Okay. Well, baby gravy, I would love that. baby gravy is a term for semen from the eighties, and we didn't even yeah. know that. Really? We, we dropped yeah, our baby first gravy. EP, baby gravy. We didn't know that that was like. I mean, yeah. you could just think about it too, but I mean, it makes sense. Oh, but yeah, like, yeah, I didn't know yeah. that it was a popularized actual thing in the eighties. Dude, yeah, Sherez, my my videographer, just found out that like two weeks ago, and he's like, "Should we like not put this out?" He's like, we should definitely. I think like, bro, we've already twice. done like, even. Dude, we've done it twice. Yeah. He's like, "Did anyone know about this?" And I was just like, "Yeah, like, dude, we, that'd be awesome. I'd love to. I just love when worlds people, collide. That's just so cool." We had some like parents that would like buy merch for their kids and then return it on tour. Uh, it didn't happen <laughs> a lot, but they returned it when like they read it, and like the like the yeah, older parent yeah, would yeah. read it and be like, yeah. "Oh no, 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 no that's yeah, not yeah, that's yeah. not it." They would agree. That's so funny. I don't think it's popular anymore because a lot of people don't don't see that, but definitely like over 50. Dude, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. it I love it. It's kind of Fellas, cool. thank you for hopping on. Baby yeah, Gravy. Thanks, thanks, boys. Coming out soon. Hell yeah, boys. Thank guys, you. <clears throat> this is so fun. So fun. Much love. That's We're going to go talk to uh, very nice people in Amsterdam. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah record it. Enjoy that shit. Amsterdam is amazing. I'm so excited. excited. Yeah. We're going to drink uh, fresh wine. we be in the canals and the birth canals. Uh, natural, natural wine. wine. Natural wine. The, I'm gonna touch myself a lot. There's a there's a venue called Melquake, like right downtown. Oh, Melquake! Just like there's three shows a night in different rooms. What so type of shows? Any type. We've like, done it a bunch of times. I've Are done, there yeah. boobs? No. Oh no, oh, okay. not those shows. They do. Sure. They, they have boobs there for sure. Hey. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You guys should do the the Heineken experience. It's pretty. It's kind of cute. It's fun. It's oh, like, you walk around the. You go, there's all the, you go like on a boat and everything, and I love and, boats. And I love yeah, boats too. you go on a Are boat and they get they just give you beer and everything. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I love it. Do you guys want to come with us? Honestly, I would. Do you like shrooms? Yeah. You should go to a smart shop in Amsterdam. Yeah. Buy the truffle. I mean, you could probably just buy normal shrooms I now at truffle. this point. But they have, though, they have like 
truffles that you can buy that are like it's a different part of like the shroom so you can okay. just legally just buy shrooms yeah, yeah. in amsterdam go to the fucking botanical garden Oh, it's the most beautiful. Oh, it's dude, super this beautiful. Is it's such the a most good idea. That's great. Yeah, I don't want to like see the red light district on shoes. So I'm like, dude. where's the mom? No, so go go, like, go on the come down. Go like like yeah. during the day. Yeah. 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 Is it there. local? Like nearby? Yeah, it's definitely. I want to ride by and look at flowers. This is such a good idea. It was it was one of the best things I did. And I love botanical gardens and shit like that. Me too. I love it. Yeah, and it's the best one I've ever been to. It's awesome. Hell yeah. Really? Yeah. Dude, if you have any more advice, text me. That's fucking fun. Dude, when in doubt, just like look up tourist attractions and just go do them. 100%. Well, send them to us first because the Anne Frank house is not really busting like that. (laughs) Yeah, I don't want to do shrooms and then go listen to a woman be quiet. Yeah. But the Elk Garden oh, is great. Oh, man. Shout out to our ancestral legend. Uh, yeah, shout out to legend. Juice. She's, she's, is she your ancestor? Y'all, yeah. We're related. Wow. Well, you guys are related? We is, j- she, is she our Harriet no. Tubman? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a real question. It's a, it's a real question. Actually, I think you're... I'm on to something. That comes off crazy, but you might... Yeah. yeah. You might something there. Your Harriet Tubman? <laughs> yeah. For oh, us white people. No, Jewish. Jewish. You guys are both Jewish. Yes. Yeah, is, I didn't is, know that. Yeah, my dad's Christian. I get a lot of uh, Trevor. I just assumed you were straight, like German, like Nazi People heritage. People think, dude. Jesus. I'm the dude, opposite, dude. I don't dude, know. But, that, but that's the thing. It. I blend yeah. in with everybody. Ain't nobody <laughs> hate me. People hate me, but I blend in with you know. You got a Nazi jawline. Well, that's thank a, you. That's a compliment. Say thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank Nazi you. I wish I had their eyes. Blue eyes would be nice. I'd book more roles in this fucking town. Uh, what? But yeah. The funniest thing ever right, to this day, and we'll I end it here. Uh, it. Hitler had all dark hair and dark eyes, and he wanted everyone to have blonde hair and blue eyes. You always want what you can't have. But my man was not what every. Well, he was like, these are perfect humans. This. You imagine looking at Mary. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is bullshit. He was on meth. All meth Hitler's the whole time. Whack, dude. Yeah. You're very. He was kind of All right. That's it. Guys, right, thank you so much, boys. man. We appreciate it. We love you guys. Thank you for supporting the podcast. Go check out Patreon. Four extra episodes ad free. Uh, drops every Friday. Patreon.com backslash Stitch Sox Pod. We love you. We out. Hey.